You're about to listen to Tadpog. Tyler and Dave play old games. It's a comedy video game podcast. We would like to stress that the hosts are not experts and are really just very crass commentators. Seriously, this is an explicit podcast that happens to talk about video games sometimes. So please enjoy this pretty okay podcast with Tyler and Dave. Hello, Internet, and welcome to another, yet another, 540 or 50 plus. Five, five something. 555. 559 is my guess. 559? I don't know if that's true or not. Yeah. I didn't make the post yet. I normally do. <laughs> but I was, like, busy today, so it's like, yeah. man, just going to have to do it tonight. Uh, Tad Buck's two old, uh, we're two old guys play old games. Tyler and Dave. I'm your beard host, Tyler. And what we do here is uh, we got all our... Uh, some pod, artisanal podcastery and some dark magic and some glue, and we made our own dark god that would randomly choose Super Nintendo games for us to play <laughs> while we whittled away at its own power. So he looks like Ray Liotta. He looks wondering. like Ray Liotta. He looks a little like Ray Liotta. <laughs> like if you just look at him, Nega Ray Liotta. Yeah. What? Ray Liotta now or Ray Liotta then? Oh, Ray but, Liotta now. Because, yeah, that's scary. <laughs> yeah, Ray, shit. Ray Liotta no. 20 years from now. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Will will his face be tighter? Yeah, well, so tight. Well, his nose will just disappear. Yeah, no, <laughs> it's just gonna be cackling, and yeah, yeah, you'll be able to see the dark magic oh, yeah. behind his eyes. Because he won't be able to blink. Yeah. No, it would be yeah. impossible. Oh. He'll have his eye. He'll actually have his eyelids removed. So he does. He'll keep his eyeballs wet like a gecko. He'll just lick it every three seconds. If you don't remove your eyeballs, that's how they get you. Is what he'll tell people. Yeah, it's definitely. Yeah. I'd be like, oh, that randomizer. Yeah. <laughs> well, the random. That's gonna make a good shirt to have this nega. <laughs> Twenty years from now, dark magic Ray, Ray Liotta. Liotta. I like imagining him dressed as Gozer from Ghost. <laughs> yeah, the Sumerian. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. So listen, to randomizer picked for us. One of the one of the Madden games. One of the Madden one games. One of the many many Madden games. It might have been ninety three. I can't remember. So of course, when we draw uh-huh. a sports game, we have to go with the person in the Tadpog Nation who knows the most about sports. And this time, we're the actually most not kidding. Cannot be contested or challenged. The sports master. Yeah, S- something I can literally not brag about. <laughs> <laughs> I know. A little bit about sports. <laughs> well, you're kind of like you know the scene in Return of the Jedi where the Ewoks think that C-3PO is like their god. That's kind of like because they don't know any yeah, better. Yeah, That's exactly. essentially like a, Tyler and me with you. Yeah. Where it's like this guy knows everything about sports. <laughs> One is infinitely more than zero. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, which is exactly the way I am with like RPGs. Yeah. <laughs> Although I'm better now. I'm playing one. Yeah, you're playing Joe Mads, right? Yeah. It seems like forever. Like, uh, I mean, maybe you're supposed to play them that long, but I'm pretty sure if someone was watching, they would be like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What is a man? I mean, I mean, I, I was, philosophical. I, yeah, I was like six months in, maybe, where I was like, oh, man, I got it. I got Yay. it. What All right, fuck? I love it. You know? <laughs> so those dulcet tones belong to Laud Mullaney Dennis Laud Robinson. Mulaney Dennis. Mm. Welcome. Hi. <laughs> it's good it's good to have you back. Thank you. I, I it's nice to be dust out of storage, you know. <laughs> yeah. Once every what, 150 episodes. That's yeah. how Josh Nance also yeah. feels. <laughs> I wasn't going to be on, but since Tyler's living out in the Holland deck, you know, he he found me in a truck. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, I was going to throw this out. Yeah, yeah. What's in this big Rubbermaid container? <laughs> oh, it's fucking Dennis. <laughs> All right. Good thing I put him in this Rubbermaid container. No water damage. Yep. <laughs> Completely safe from splashing. It's a mint Dennis. <laughs> the, the mint, yeah. It's mint, a mint in box mint Dennis. Box Dennis. <laughs> Boy, that still isn't worth anything. <laughs> 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 That's like having, you know, like a loaf of bread from 1975. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's in perfect shape. On, I mean, on the outside. You know. <laughs> well, uh, like I said, I'm your beard host, Tyler. And, uh, well, I don't know. What are we going to talk about? Dennis, you gotta, what have you been up to? Oh, 
just uh, staring into the ceiling and wishing I was dead. <laughs> like, I mean, I think we've all had that moment a little bit, you know, with the uh, whatever the fuck this is. Madden? <laughs> yeah, Madden, Madden or COVID? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. The COVID stuff. I have a hard time telling the difference sometimes. Yeah, exactly. They're both pretty disorienting. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what play to pick. <laughs> yeah. There's always some weird guy screaming on the TV. You know? <laughs> Much like football, I was not ready for some COVID. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning more and more about it, but I still don't think I'm the expert. <laughs> yeah, <I laughs> At think least you, I hope. <laughs> you're c 3 po and we're the Ewoks. Phil Hawkins has chosen sandwiches as his domain, so he can't also claim football. Football uh, could be yours. <laughs> there are a lot of football fans in the Tadbog Nation. Tony played college football. Tony played college football? Yeah, it was Division two or three. I'm not Impresario, sure. Tony? Yeah, Illinois College wow. football. Wow. That's impressive. Yeah. I had no idea. He could bench 300 like the day he graduated high school. He's uh, It's great to have a best friend that really makes you feel like a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's around every turn. He does. Oh, what? Well, you play football and bench that much? I, I bet you're dumb. Yeah. Oh, no, you're a, oh, you're, you're an, you're a, you're a chemist. You're a doctor. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I bet your dick's it, real small. No, no, no. no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and even when like we were high school kids, like Tony was so serious that you would see him like running and riding a bike up these hills that we lived on in Southern Illinois, preparing for football. And I was shooting bottle rockets out of my window. <laughs> At him, he had to run from the yeah. I mean, that's for football probably practice. actually happened. <laughs> Uh, that's we lived in the country. That's completely plausible <laughs> because his older brother used to slingshot artillery shells, like you know those ones, the fireworks they drop into the into tube. like the, yeah, the little yeah. mortar thing. They used to stand on opposite <laughs> sides of the pond that Tony lived next and sh- and slingshot them at each other, trying to explode <laughs> like, them like with slingshots. Yeah, like basically horseshoes with explosives and people. <laughs> Do you know, like, the closer you could get it to the people, the better, the better. it was. Yeah, yeah. It, it, but it's Obviously. like a dog catching a car. You're like, uh, what are you going to fucking do when this happens? <laughs> what are you going to do when you kill your friend? Yeah. <laughs> and our family member. It's a good thing. There's this pond right here we yeah. can just slide him into. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be one of our tombs. Let's let's play fireworks. <laughs> well, I've got a... <clears throat> I mentioned an intro story a few weeks ago, but I never got around to it because I wanted to make sure uh, my buddy Bobby was okay with it. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember you mentioned. So this I, was a I remember few this was a while ago. ago. Yeah. So, your, um, your friend Bobby, Bobby Flay, Bobby Flay, my good buddy Bobby, Bobby Flay. Flay, Bobby, my uh, he's Robert Robert Steers on on the Nation. He, he's he's a frequent commenter. Uh, okay, he yeah. is better at barbecue than Bobby Flay. I'll give I'll say that I'll come up in out outright. The man knows how to barbecue. All right. Uh, so. I mean, it, it starts off sad because his uh, his his father passed away, and his father lived uh, somewhere in southern Illinois, like past. I, I'm pretty unfamiliar with the territory, so he lived like 30 minutes past Joppa, as far as I know. So that's like to me, that is the absolute middle of nowhere. That's the edge of the yeah, wilderness. That's fair. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so um, I wanted to support him, so it's like let's yeah let's go to the funeral. So Melissa and I went, and he probably was like, you really don't have to. It's really way the fuck out there. I was like, no, it's, it's fine. No, I want to I wanna be there for you. I know, because he was pretty tore up about it. So um, I put it in my GPS. My GPS was very confused for a second <laughs> as to where this place was. <laughs> Did you mean somewhere else? <laughs> <laughs> Surely you didn't mean here. We found another funeral home for you. It seems very nice. <laughs> so we, we listen, I drive like an hour and a half out to where it said it was. And it was through like, there's no like interstate. There's no highway. There's like, it's just weird back roads for an hour and a half. Just the occasional like dilapidated house. Then into woods. Then it was just like, it was extremely weird. We're like, are we going to the wrong place? Is this like Micah's wedding where I put in the wrong address and went to the completely wrong area before just like, we're driving through just like old house, old house, woods, swamp, old house, funeral home, middle of nowhere, nothing else around it. Got it. Uh, So we get out and we go in. And again, because they have the name of the funeral home, like right above it. It's like, surely this is, okay, this is, surely this is a funeral home. We walk inside, and immediately the door is a room full of, like, 
carousels and clowns and puppets and shit. Like like put away in storage? Or no, no, no like... they're out like decoration, just like, it was like the old TGI Fridays, but with carousels and shit. At a, fun- this was At a, a funeral, funeral home. This, are you sure this wasn't that juggalo convention? <laughs> yeah, <it's the> ga- <laughs> you, Tyler stumbles upon the gathering. Yes. Because <laughs> Melissa and I walk in and it's just like, what the fuck is this? And you were like, clown check. <laughs> 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 and I eventually we kind of wander around like a bunch of people are there. We're all packed together. And I eventually find Bobby and he's out back smoking. So it was definitely the right place. It was the right place. Okay. And I walk in, I give him a hug. And I'm like, what the fuck is up with the entrance? He's like, no, no, it was even worse. All that shit was, was on. It was, it was on, on when we came in. My dad's in there dead in a casket. And all that shit was on. Like clown music and lights. And they were all twirling and shit. This is going to be a really... We had to make them turn it off. This is going to be a really <laughs> weird question and a very weird assumption. But was there like a child's birthday party? Yeah, the, also. Like... Like the day before or something, and then like somebody forgot to take all the. We celebrate down. life and death here at the right. at the middle of nowhere drop a funeral. Home. What's the ex- what do you, what is what is the explanation? They didn't have one. They just There's like no explanation. The owner just likes it. <laughs> so that's what, and he's like, that's we're the only chose. funeral like, home. We're this, gonna- will, this will make them happy in their time of need. Yeah. All these weird, dusty, archaic <laughs> collection of. So the carousel. funeral home was in Joppa. Illinois? It, it was, was past job. Yeah, Java. it was further. It was like 30 minutes beyond beyond that. Yeah, I mean, I can say as a, a, a proud, you know, son of Southern Illinois is, I'm not that surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Tony's listening right now just laughing because he's like, yeah, I miss home. <laughs> and it's not that we're, it's like clown yeah. nuts. It's just more like, man, don't you know this is fucked up? <laughs> you know, that's that's the number one, you know, probably thing that people who leave Beatonville almost have to say. Or not, I don't want to just call out my town, but I think anybody in a small town from a small town right now, there's a little bit of level of like, you guys are fucking killing me. Because <laughs> there's some crazy shit and sometimes people walk around with it. Because <laughs> like, I've got a black suit on, Melissa has a black dress on, we sit in the back and just like, oh, I thought of a place because I'm not wearing a trucker hat. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, the joke I always make, this is 100% true for as long as I've known my wife, is that it's not a Southern Illinois wedding until you see real tree. And trust me, you will. Real tree, real tree, the brand. Yeah, like yeah. the camouflage. Oh, it, it, okay. It might be, it might be a full suit. It might be a tie. It might be a belt. <laughs> it might be shoes. It might just be a t-shirt and his jeans. Somebody's coming through in real tree. It's, it's, it's just like my theory of it's impossible to watch cops and not see a mullet. There's at least one. Yeah, it sure. doesn't always have to be the criminal. Sometimes it's the cops. Sometimes it's, but usually it is the bad boy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, but that's definitely true with uh, Southern Illinois. Is that that's that's what you get when you go there. <laughs> What's your favorite kind of mullet? Uh, I don't know if it's – I think they're all about the same. You know, yeah. that's not true. My favorite kind of mullet is a really butch woman. Yeah. Like with a blonde <laughs> dyed – like bleach blonde mullet. Short spikies <laughs> in the front? Or? And, and super straight longies yeah. in the back. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, That's a good one. That is a and, good one. Like super short on the sides. It's it, like a, a – my friend in Pinkneyville recently sent me a picture where he had cut his own hair like a guy called the Boz, which football fans will know who that is. But Boz Skaggs, yeah. Yes. The Boz was actually in a lot of 80. It's like Brian Bosworth. He was in like a lot of 80s B movies and maybe even 90s. Hmm. But he started out as like a football player from Oklahoma with like a like the greatest mullet ever. It was just shaved <laughs> sides. He left the rest alone. You know what I mean? <laughs> I like a I like a Tiger King. I do. I like yeah. a Tiger King. Yeah, Tiger, King. Tiger King's really good. I like a hockey mullet. I like oh, a hockey mullet. Yeah, yeah hockey mullet. I didn't good. know we were going with ones that we might wear. No, I'm not. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> no, I'm not. Just the ones I like looking at. Because I feel like yeah. a hockey mullet is a lot like a, a certain level of tattooing. At least for me, that, per- that's a good. For yeah, personally, sure. it's like like if I get a tattoo on my neck, I'm going to need to be a rock star. You know. 
to some degree. If, You'd be a SoundCloud rapper. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> but but, you, but you know, that's just a personal thing for me. Yeah. You know, it's like yeah. I don't need the extra challenge. I know how hard the job market is <laughs> fucking normally. Yeah. So, so having a neck tattoo is not something I need to like. I'm too just skilled. I need yeah. hard mode. Yeah. <laughs> I want to make sure this person isn't judgmental. Yeah. So you which don't... is never a bet you should take with fucking humanity. <laughs> 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 You don't have any tattoos then? No, not permanent ones. <laughs> Do you ever feel like an outsider in the creative industry because you don't have any tattoos? I mean, people say this a lot, and so I never say it. And it's, uh, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, so uh, more than most people, like, uh, it never occurred to me until you asked me to be an outsider. It's like, I don't have two tattoos, but I'm so welcoming usually of people can do whatever the fuck they want as sure. long as they're not hurting other people. Yeah. I'm, that's kind of my thing. But for me, it's like, I've never felt like I was forced to do anything. If I was around people that were trying to force me to do stuff, I wouldn't be around them anymore. Yeah. yeah. Well, not necessarily forcing, but just it's one of those where I feel you like... You and your common sense methodology to life, Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I uh, work with a lot of people who, like, they've uh, been surprised that I don't have any tattoos. I mean, usually I just look at those people as fucking clowns. I, <laughs> be, I mean, my things with that is it's always like, you gotta be fucking unique like all of us. Yeah. Well, it's no, like, it is like, it's know. weird because it is like... Having... I mean, I pride myself on on individuality and not in a way that like anyone would ever think that because I look so mainstream. No, I understand yeah. that very much because you and I are very similar in that yeah. regard. I mean, we're, we, I feel like we are like yeah. the nerdy graphic designers. Yeah, where, exactly. Like, there are edgy graphic designers. You're not the bad boys of graphic design. We are not. No, we're, <laughs> yeah, the, I, I'm more comic book than I am, yeah. you know, graffiti, yeah. I would say. And I'm more, I can put a postcard for propane gas together if you need that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man, I've made everything. So it's from granola bars to clogs, you know, like, clogs? Like a logo. Like Dutch and, clogs. And, and even like it was gardening clogs. Gardening clog? I don't know. Yeah. What is a gardening clog? They're rubber clogs. <laughs> for gardening? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> They're for uh, w white women who have too much money. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, yeah. Is, it, is it a real tree brand or someone else? <laughs> I you laugh, but I fucking think they had that. Like it's a, uh, Under Armour? It was like muck boots. Is like a, oh, okay. It's a kind of yeah. Boot, yeah. All right. It was when I was in ad agencies, like little ones, so they would have – you'd get a lot of random like mid-sized companies like that. It also makes sense that like – You've done a lot of corporate, like you've done a lot of like corporate, yeah, work, right? Corporate, I mean, yeah. to the point where you might not have like run into a lot of people with tattoos. Like all my stuff has been like mom and pop, like pretty local, like small. Yeah. I mean, overall, I would say the kind of almost everybody I met had tattoos, but not that many of them were super visual. Gotcha. Visible. Gotcha. I would but say. they had them because I worked in a lot of really corporate offices, and even yeah, and even an ad agency that was more corporate in its structure than you know because it was old. It was an old school agency. Did John Madden have any tattoos? Do you know that you're aware of? Is he dead? No, he's still he's alive. alive. Okay, but he he retired. Because uh, he couldn't take the travel because he won't fly. He'll he won't fly? ride that fucking bus everywhere. Why right? is that? Do you know? He doesn't like it. He's, so, it's, I think it's, he might be afraid. Yeah, I was about to say, bit. but he yeah. probably. I don't like flying either. I'll yeah. do it, but I don't like it. Why don't Why don't you like it? Just, I mean, I know it's the, kind of the worst. But... It just feels. I just like the feeling of flying. It doesn't yeah. feel good to me. It feels yeah. just. You're like a dwarf. You need to be yeah. attached yeah. to the earth. Put me Put me in a piece of metal that's going half as fast. <laughs> yeah. I really like flying, but it, it's like not the people part. It's so really, I mean, right now the social distancing part is fucking perfect for me. I've been practicing that my entire life. Yeah, you know? <laughs> it's a good, it's a good practice. I, I mean, I I legit thought of Tyler lately because I it's like, man, I am becoming Bill Burr a little bit. <laughs> And like, you know, he talks about needing less people on Earth, which right now doesn't play well. But like, uh, but you know, still funny. You know? Like Dwight Schrute said, we need a good plague. Yeah. Too many lines. Yeah, and here we are. And now that shit is not as funny as it used to be. <laughs> I guess it's. I don't know. To some people, it's not. To some people, it's even funnier. It just depends yeah, on your depends. audience. Yeah, it, it, depends. it depends on what microphones are on. You know. <laughs> Well, For the record, our uh, official stance on COVID is that it's bad. That's bad. I just want to go so ahead and say pedophilia, that. Pedophilia, yeah. COVID, bad. Bad. All the COVID. We're willing to be brave and say it. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I, I guess I do kind of have a, a story that Ty, it's a Ty, Tyler inspired, it, and it's like I've been thinking a lot about like being more. You know what I said is like fuck it because. I mean, at this point, <laughs> I mean, it's getting hard not to just everyone to feel that way a little bit. And I'm sure I, I admire Tyler for all the, you know, not to get too serious, but the shit that has gone down the past few years and how well he's handled it and how fucking awesome he's done at it. Because Thank I you. was right on the edge of that, you know, and it didn't turn out bad, you know, but my son was supposed to be sick for like seven months. They told us he was going to be born sick. And that seven months was like the worst seven months of my fucking life and so i can't even imagine what he had been through and i bring all that horrible shit up just to tell you the story of like in that time as things got darker you start kind of trying to just uh survive because you're worried and you got a lot going on and i had like a, a shitty boss so fuck him if he's listening he, he definitely he, listens. He is. he is he's <laughs> fuck you steve yeah yeah, yeah steve that's not his name so it, i just call yeah. him steve yeah we'll call him it. steve yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> everybody knows him as steve so Anyway, the, the short, long and short of the story is this, is that at some points towards the end of that job, I mean, when I say it was a bad job, this guy fired a guy two days before, a woman two days before Christmas, and then she still came by and gave me a gift for the office Christmas party. Uh, I mean, you're talking about, it's a rough place. It yeah, was right downtown yeah, yeah. St. Louis, and like... Uh, Everything else was going on, and so I start like uh, getting Baja blasted a little bit and smoking here and there, and you know now in Illinois it's fucking legal, so fuck mm-hmm. Kentucky and whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that's pretty good. Yeah. Rah rah Illinois, you know. <laughs> here, here in the frontier, yeah. we're still developing you know? ways. To... <laughs> and, and you know that's something that's you're always a little nervous to say out loud, but whatever, fuck it. And like uh, I, as I was doing that one day, it's a Friday, and every few weeks they would call us into like a happy hour that we had to go to because that's always that's how you make people happy is make them sit together when they don't fucking want to and (laughs) and i went in there i was like all right time for this happy hour and i sit down and i had just just smoked a lot (laughs) (laughs) try because it's the end of the week and i thought fucking i ain't got nothing to do anyway i'll just get an early start and relax because it's been tough and I walk in there and sit down, and I notice they're already talking and people. And then I realize they're talking about the magazines. That's weird. They're fucking talking about the magazine. It's like these people don't know how to have fun. Like nobody has a beer yet. Where's the beer? And that's when I realized that I had walked into a meeting that wasn't over yet. <laughs> <laughs> and I had sat down, and I looked up at the girl – a girl named Heather that is my friend and hopefully probably will be forever, you know, awesome person. And she, I uh, looked up at her and I said, are you, oh shit, are you guys still in a meeting? <laughs> and she said, she's like, and she just nods real slow and kind of tries not to smile. And I just remember in my head, my pot head, you know, <laughs> thinking, eh. Fuck it. <laughs> and then I just sat there till the meeting ended. What? What's, it, what's it about? Yeah. You know, clue me in. I didn't listen. I mean, Jesus Christ. You know, but, uh, but I mean, it, you really, once you're sitting down and you, you know, you there's a real decision you got to make is like, oh, you're shit, sure, get yeah. up and leave. Oh, it's going to be more awkward if you get up and yeah. leave, right? Well, I, I almost made it seem like I was supposed to be there. You know, I just kind of leaned in and went, <laughs> if you got up, you should have been really upset about yeah. it. I didn't yeah. know you were fucking meeting still. Yeah. Knock shit over as you walk out. <laughs> this paper's going down the drain. <laughs> you know, <it's> all... <laughs> You're always doing this, Heather. <laughs> My favorite exclamation is tenacious D of, you know, cock ass. Yeah. Know, so that's what I just wish I would have screamed cock ass through a book and left the room. You know? <laughs> through a book at someone. Yeah. <laughs> Then came back four or five minutes later. I need my book. (laughs) (laughs) Someone don't seem to fuck off. I'm out. (laughs) Yeah, so, I mean, I don't have a story for my kids if they ever listen to this about, like, oh, how good daddy handled it. (laughs) 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 But, you know, the way I've always been the person that's like, Jesus, Dennis seems like a disaster, but he always gets to the finish line. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's like I'm going to cuss and swear and trip and fall all the way there. But, <laughs> but I'll get there, God damn it. You know? Hell yes. Have you played Quop? Are you familiar with Quop? 
No. That's what that reminds me of. <laughs> what is that? It's a it's a like a running game where you're playing like a like a like a track runner uh, and you control all of his limbs with different keys on the keyboard. Are you serious? So, yeah, so it's impossible oh essentially. My God. And you eventually just kind of like roll down the track. <laughs> A tangle of arms and legs. You kind of figure out how to do it where you're dragging one leg and slowly yeah. use the other to drag your body down. I mean, the- at this point, that's pretty much how I ride. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I think, you know, shit, who knows? You know, it's been so long since I tried. I haven't run in a minute. Yeah. It's been a minute. Well, what about you, Dave? What have you been up to? Uh, just playing Animal Crossing. Yeah, just playing yeah. Animal Crossing. How's um, that going? Uh, pretty good. Going pretty good. Uh, Henry started playing um, on the 3DS on uh, New Leaf. And just the other day, he realized that we were playing different games. And it was like, fuck, damn it. He's like old enough to realize that, like, dad's playing on the nice Nintendo Switch. And I'm playing on this fucking thing that's like 12 years old. I don't know how old the 3DS is. Very old, right? But anyway, it's like, I, I, he is like, man. And what's great about it is I fucking love this game kid i like like i love it when it's like there are these wholesome moments where it's like oh yeah he just doesn't know like he's just trying to do his best and he just doesn't know because he was like he he didn't have any tools in the game so he wanted to like get the tools like the net to catch bugs and the shovel to dig fossils up he wants this stuff so he runs up to a vendor and types in one hundred dollars at all caps. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how it works. So, but then the flip side of that is it's adorable. But the flip side of it is he gets really upset when it doesn't work. So he that gets only that works me. at McDonald's. Go to the counter and do that. Yeah, just yell, <laughs> <laughs> "World Star." One hundred. <laughs> <laughs> So I mean that's pretty much it, man. I mean it's just been it's been a lot of Animal Crossing. Tweet. <laughs> yeah, not Tweet? Re- I mean yeah, it's fun, but yeah. I mean that's not interesting for a podcast. What is Animal Crossing technically? Uh, as far I mean I know it's a game, but it's a what happiness do you do simulator. It? Yeah, what? it's a chore simulator, really. <laughs> what a, it is? Because um, it's you, a blowjob machine. <laughs> <laughs> they have they haven't developed that technology yet. Yeah. Uh, but it's like uh, it's it is a chore simulator. It's like it's one of those things where it's like, man, do you you know how you feel good after you do a whole bunch of chores? And it's like, yeah, I do. And they're like, you don't? You typically no, don't? No, no? No, I don't. Really? You don't get like a sense of satisfaction? No. It's I'm, like, oh, that's... Like I've reached that point of existential nothingness where it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's like a... Yeah. I'm going to be fucking dead in like 60 <laughs> years. I give a fuck if the grass is a little old. <laughs> the only reason the grass is mowed at my house is my utter fear of snakes. <laughs> okay. You would not the like... The only it. reason the grass is mowed here is because Melissa does it. <laughs> <laughs> you would not like Animal Crossing because that is like... That is what you get. You get the... You get the feeling of satisfaction that you've done something mm. when you've actually done nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know it's nothing. I would rather just cut out the middleman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, I know – I mean, at the same time, I understand – I mean, I think that's what I like about the art, turn-based RPG is, like, especially fitted into my life now when I play that Battle Chasers – what is it? Night War, I think is what it is. I haven't played it yet. Like that. I can't remember the title even, though. But, like – uh is like I'm not used to a game that because I played mainly sports games or action adventure that does have a like automatic stop in it. It's easy to sit down and Pick grab up. my kid. Or yeah, yeah, whatever, yeah. yeah. You know? Animal Crossing is good for that too because it is very much like a it. Nothing matters in it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I say that, but then there are also everyone's sort of happy going to other's islands, buying and selling turnips and furniture. And- yeah. I mean, I say that nothing really matters, but like it does get intense sometimes where it's like, I only have an hour left to buy these fucking 12,000 turnips, so give me a fucking minute. Uh, I mean, I think I would want you like a darker version a of bit. it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> we fed you yesterday. <laughs> Life is hard. Deal with it. Daddy's got to make bells. That's the currency, mm. not dollars. Bells? Bells, yeah. How do they carry them in their pocket? In like stacks of ninety nine thousand, like, like, oh. <laughs> like in Turtles too. Whenever they've got all the bells, hell, the hundreds and hundreds of little bells. Yeah, on the on the ninjas, they put them on the Foot Clan. They just bring the Foot Clan with them. It works out. 
<laughs> I like bell choirs in church because I don't, I'm they, you, they sound kind of cool, but at the same time, they kind of make me laugh in a weird way. <laughs> they make you laugh. There's, <laughs> some, there's something funny about a grown middle aged man to me, like ringing bells, even though I know they're. And the way they be, ring them in that weird way. I, I'm, I mean, I'm from Southern Illinois, Co country. We, there's not a whole lot of guys hanging out in church ringing bells. You know, it's just not happening. Unfortunately, probably for them, because I think they'd be great at it. <laughs> the the uh, then the more the juxtaposition yeah. of like gruff person doing it. Sure, funnier it is. They should try it. Yeah. You guys want to talk about some Madden now? I do. I would like to g- dive deeper into bells. That's fine. <laughs> I, that's fine too. Let's do it. I'm man. down. <laughs> you pretty much uh, you you run this show. Uh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's all up to you. My favorite kind of bells are southern, <laughs> southern uh-huh. bells. Uh-huh. That was a weird porn site I was into in like the late nineties. Southern Bells. Southern well, Bells. It was not like it was like not particularly attractive women, but they were like these like real women like around my in my neighborhood. So like what do you so like okay. So there's like this appeal of like It's a real, real. Yeah. this is like real there's some real. realness. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, She's got a bullet hole. That's some realness. That's gotcha. fine. She should go to the doctor. Her roots are showing very badly. Like, I, uh, yeah, well, this, that's, this looks... Well, well that's just sexy. Yeah, I know exactly which one you're talking about now. Is her roots are showing. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> you have a one-piece tan line. I, I get this. <laughs> hey, that crosses genres into hentai. <laughs> There's probably a towel over a window in the background. There you go. You know what I mean? That was bought by with marble miles. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, or something of the ilk. You know, sure. Yeah. yeah, maybe it's. Well, a... I don't want to just like put a little box around people. No. Like, could only smoke marble. No, so, it yeah. could also be a, a giant off-color Tweety Bird shirt. It could also yeah. be that. There, there could be a lot of vape cartridges on the dresser. There could be. There could be. Probably a Monster Energy drink. <laughs> Have you checked in on Southern Bells as I drink my Monster <laughs> Not, Energy drink? I mean, it was built like a like a GeoCities website with <laughs> the different Southern Bell models. Was it free or was it a... It was free. Oh, this was like... I mean, this okay. was back in the day Oh, is it I like had... an 8-bit Confederate flag flying <laughs> yeah, <on> Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> with a guest counter <laughs> and sign the... <laughs> Come in, check out this porn, sign the guest book. <laughs> Every time... It's like a, it's got a visitor ticker and Every time it ticks off, it goes. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's a, a gif of uh, of uh, the Duke boy jumping over a fucking ravine <laughs> over the title, <laughs> right? over a penis coming. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember any of the models' names? No, not at all. All right, probably I'm... like Dixie Normus. No. <laughs> <laughs> I would imagine it's all shit like Petticoat Junction, like Molly Joe and Petticoat. Bobby Sue. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> man, what a what a porn parody that would be. <laughs> Petticoat f- fuction, fuction, yeah, nice. <laughs> it's the best we got. Suction also works. Oh, oh, there you go. There but that's go. if it's an oral only site. Oh, yeah. yeah, you don't want to like you don't want to box yourself in with a title, <laughs> right? Yeah, exactly. You want it to grow organically. Yeah, so absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's always the best way with penises. I mean, whatever we're doing. You know. <laughs> I agree. Because I lived in the dollar house looking on my compact presario at uh, at Southern Bells. I still remember going from like Sublime Directory and Playboy to Southern Bells and being like, oh, man, these girls are not pretty. Why am I still looking at it? <laughs> Why is it working and I don't like it? I, I know the answer to that, and it's... Uh, because in your head, you think, I got a chance. Yeah, I got a chance. <laughs> I got a chance. Yeah, I got a chance. <laughs> if I was there, I'd probably be in on this. You know? <laughs> are you, you're probably not, because I know that you're, that you are not into pornography currently. No. But, but, but are you familiar with a subreddit called Plain Janes? No. So it's a not safe for work subreddit that like seems like a name like Plain Janes. It's like you're probably going to run across the same kind of like the Southern Bells, mm-hmm. right? You're going to get like the roots showing. Uh, they should just rename that subreddit to like um, women that you don't want to see naked. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> They've taken a lot of liberties on Plain James. <laughs> Because <laughs> I remember, I well, think I saw the name of it. I was like, "Yeah, okay, I'm, I could be into this for sure." You know, on that Southern Bell tip, yeah. where it's like, and I'm like, "No, I'm not." I am, turns out, I am not into this. Another dangerous word in porn is chubby. I, I feel like because it there's a lot of leeway, there's a right? lot of leeway, there's too in much that. leeway in yeah. that. Like, and I'm not judging anyone for liking one direction or the other. It's just more of a 
it's really hard to know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, because like they're clearly yeah. like a size eight. Yeah. It's like chubby. It's like no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no. But you, what I love about it is then it becomes art almost. Yeah. Like, and not just not just the video, but the post of the video because you like get a moment. You get to like see the personality of the person who posted it. <laughs> <laughs> Where it's like, oh, I see. But I see like how you know. I get how you what you think is chubby. I get yeah. it. <laughs> How much of a piece of shit is this poster? Okay. And then I go straight to the comments to like see what people are saying about the guy's dick. Because it's like, I know like if I'm watching a video and yeah. I think, oh, that guy's kind of got a little bit of a dick. It's like I, I'll scroll through and I was like, I know someone's bagging on this dude. And then for sure there's some guy. <laughs> All caps, weird spacing. <laughs> what a small dick. And then the comments below it are, yeah, but she's, she's doing it to him and not you. <laughs> Came here to say this. Thanks. Yeah, got him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that guy's real concerned about it. That's just his only like move to make sure other people know. Mine's a little bigger. Mine's than a that. little bit bigger than mine's that guy's. Bigger That's than that, yeah. that should be my go. to I would find yeah, that refreshing. Yeah. Like mine's a little bit bigger. Yeah, mine's than a little that. bit bigger, but just not a much. Bit. But not yeah. much. Yeah, respectable size. Mine's a little bit bigger. How about that? That's a more positive <laughs> comment, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think I like more obscure things. Like it's not remotely the same size, but it looks a lot alike. Does it's, that make yeah. sense? You know, write things like that that really leave them quite nice standing. curvature, bro. <laughs> yeah. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Way to shave. Your dick looks like it's like acknowledging a friend in the hallway. Like, uh, yeah, it's not. It's <laughs> nodding up. Yeah. Do I know you? <laughs> <laughs> That's always a fun game I like to play. Yeah. With Co- with penises. Yeah, know. called Do I Know That Person? <laughs> Did, uh, you ever seen Madden's penis, or has he ever shown that to anybody? He's got kids. So. I think it's... <laughs> it's somebody's seen it. It's usually covered in, like, old food. <laughs> <laughs> it's doused. It's got, it's got turducken crumbles all over it. You know? Tanactin. Fritos... <laughs> Fritos, bean dip, and tenactin. <laughs> he keeps it in a bottle, like it's like a, like a ship in a bottle. But it's John Madden's dick in a bottle. <laughs> Every time he drops food on his crotch, he's like, boom. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Pow. What are, so like, yeah, he's known for like color commentary, yeah. right? And that's one of his like catchphrases: is the is boom. boom. Yeah. yeah. He which, says it in the video games a lot. Uh-huh. And which, you know, the number one, I've played Madden forever, and there was periods that I might have stopped, but this period was not it. You know, I was definitely playing all these. And I can definitely remember, like, 96 Madden being, like, there's even if there's 100 phrases, as much as you end up playing it, you're like, if you say that one more fucking time, I'm going to slit your throat. In, you know, like, yeah. <laughs> in one of the games, I noticed that in the options menu, you can toggle on or off what they call Maddenisms. Yeah, and yeah, I yeah. imagine it's that, where it's like, this person's played this game for 300 yeah. hours. They're tired of hearing, you know, boom. Yeah, or he'll feel that next week or, or yeah. whatever else. Oh, my God, know. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Because it's just so repetitive, even though, I mean, for the time, this it's not that bad, you know, but I think one thing I realized when I was re not replaying because I, I didn't have a chance to, but watching you play it, and I've played it so much in my life, is that I realized that Madden got really good for me as soon as PlayStation entered. I wasn't, yeah. I didn't really realize that until this, because I can remember going to my friend's house, which was the kid in town that got everything. And, you know, and it was like on Christmas and he had him having a PlayStation. It would have been like 96 or 97. And one of the first games was Madden and it was just so much better. Yeah. You know, the, just the perspective and stuff even matches. I'm sure it was better, 3D, yeah. right? I'm assuming. Yeah. You know, like, 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 3D third person style, like. Because I've never played it um, on the PlayStation. Yeah, it's like, a, you know, the camera moves. Yeah, you can yeah, rotate yeah, the camera. And, you know, instant. I mean, it was such a big jump. Yeah, sure. For, for a football game. Well, that know? was Sony's big push with the PlayStation was 3D, 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 3D. Like, mm. even, like, traditional 2D games like Castlevania, like yeah. Symphony of the Night, was a 2D, 2D game. But Sony was like, no, you got to have 3D in this. Because, yeah, like, yeah. that's kind of what we hang our hat on here. It's different than these other consoles. Like, yeah. add a little D20, like a giant D20 that rotates in the save room or something. <laughs> yeah, I can rem- remember, like, walking in, and this guy's name was Kimbo, and Kimbo, like, uh, was playing it and just being, like, 
You know, now if I told a kid, like, I walked in and said, oh, my God, they'd be like, are you special? You know, like, what? why would you have this reaction to this? But it was, like, such a jump because it, it it's like, I think, when it became more of a simulator and less of a game. Yeah, I do. You know okay. I, do. I, I know what you're talking that. about. But I think that there was, like, some connective tissue. Yeah, yeah, for sure. There's little things that they start doing. Yeah, because I played – I played – Um. okay, so there are – let's maybe – start with this there are eight madden games for the super nintendo um and it's crazy to see like the difference from like the first game which is john madden football it wasn't even madden nfl is, is that more than a game a year uh no it was a, it was it's a game like, a year yeah. it was super a game nintendo a year. ran 91 to 98 uh yeah 91 to 98 uh but there was like and it always came out like a, um, like 6 months ahead yeah so okay. like 90 okay. 93 for example would come out in 92 yeah, yeah. so okay. um they had they're like cars okay yeah exactly <laughs> There, uh, so there were eight of them. Boom. My yeah. other expertise. Yeah. yeah boom. <laughs> Swing wrongs. <laughs> <laughs> so we've already done an episode on Madden uh, NFL 94. So I didn't mm-hmm. play mm-hmm. that one, but I played John Madden Football, John Madden Football 93. 92 did not come out on the Super Nintendo. Mm-hmm. I don't know why exactly. Hurricane Hugo. Uh, yeah, probably <laughs> Hurricane Hugo. It came out on El Nino. <laughs> <laughs> it, it came out on the Genesis, but which I know was like the Genesis was the sports console. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, it had that reputation. Um, I played... SNES was the fun one. Genesis was the sports <laughs> one. I, <understand. laughs> I mean, and I had a Genesis, and my best friend had the SNES, so... I mean, to some yeah, degree, we a little yeah. bit planned it that way, you know, because he yeah. had one. So it's like, why would I get a yeah, you can Super play. Nintendo? Yeah. The only benefit to that is if you guys know you're going to have enough games that you can trade with one another. No, that was not going right, to happen. Sure. <laughs> right, sure, you know, right. To, to go to that is like we were the kind of kids that had one pair of boxing gloves and still used them. Yeah, and split them. Which was like, again, proving Tony was smarter <laughs> than me. He got the left-handed glove, but he's fucking left-handed. Yeah. So he yeah. was just laying into me, you know, just <laughs> like – And the way we did it, we would tuck the other hand behind our back for fairness. Sure. And so it was just head trauma. Just – there was no way to block. <laughs> just two people standing in a tiny room smashing each other in the face, you know? It's like those slapping competitions. And Have it's still like, you want to do this for fun? You know, like, no, no, I know. <laughs> Josh and I did boxing boxing fight club for a little while in high school. How long? I, I'm curious how long. We had two or three nights. All whenever right. whenever a kid like substantially bigger than me fucking laid me out. <laughs> like laid me the fuck out. Yeah. I have short arms. This dude was a big ass <laughs> athlete. Like I was quicker than him, but man, like I could not get on the inside. Like his biceps were red for my punching. That's the only place I could land. Oh. I remember once that I was like Fuck this. And I thought, yeah. I'm going to go in and get him. That's when he fucking cleaned my clock. <laughs> That's what makes Floyd Mayweather a great boxer is his ability to wait. Like, yep. you know, he'll just bore you to death and then you make one mistake and you're unconscious. Yep. And he's <laughs> taking a bath with women and money. You know? <laughs> like, literally, just eight in the morning on a Tuesday. It's some- <laughs> Some supermodel's giving him a bath, and he's counting hundred dollar bills, smoking a cigar. Mm-hmm. That's his life. I mean, he can't read, so I mean, yeah, he can so. just count his money. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's probably not good at Animal Crossing. <laughs> 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 but yeah, he's just like going up a million dollars. Yeah, nothing's happening. <laughs> nah, it doesn't fuck this shit. <laughs> Uh, then it was Madden NFL 95, 96, 97, and 98. Um, the last two games, I felt like that's that connective tissue because, yeah. like, I noticed playing these games that I could play the games up to, like, 97. And then what happened was I got to Madden 97, and then I felt like, oh, the game expects you to fucking know football now. Like, <laughs> like, like you can't just ran. It's random- been six years. You should know the football right, by yeah. now. Do you not know it yet? I don't understand. <laughs> but, like, in the other games, I feel like I could choose plays, and it 
really didn't yeah. matter. I could still win. As long yeah. as I chose the best team, I would play as the All Maddens, and then I would ask Twitch chat, what was the worst team of 1995? And then I'd play against that team and barely win, mm. but I'd still win. New, New yeah. York. Okay. What? New York, New York uh, Giants. Giants? No. Jets? What? Nope. You fucked up now. <laughs> I didn't fuck up. The game only put one New York in there. Uh. Yeah. At some point, and I don't know the year, I think it would almost have to be on the PlayStation, because these games like 97, 98, it, it starts to like... Yeah, really, they blend. Yeah, it'd right. be late. Is like they are started adding AI to it to where if you ran one play over and over in the first they half, catch on they catch on and they which, do that in which is such a difference from I mean that's a huge difference in a yeah. sports game well I got terrified when I was because I was doing that I think they also got better at like creating linemen that blocked more realistically because anytime you ran the ball in the other it was just like you were running into a pile of uh, sprites. Yeah. You know what I mean? And at some point they figured out an algorithm or something to make it seem more like what it is where two people pushing a hole open. Right. To, and know. that was really hard for me because yeah. I wasn't used to that. Now, I, I honestly think that Madden NFL 97 and 98 are fucking hard games mm. because like I do running plays and I couldn't see the holes. You know what yeah. I mean? But in the, the earlier games, it's just fucking wide open. It's And that's probably when I started to fall in love with them because like I actually didn't play football after my sophomore year. I got into art became a graphic designer but I had a bad knee but I, up to that point I had already played seven years so I started when I was in third grade so yeah, it was like wow. and I come from a very athletic sporty family to where my dad had two division one scholarships in two different sports you know that's wild so like football being one of them and 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 so it's just something I've always been around to the point that when Tony was in college I could talk to him about football yeah. on, on an equal plane even though I'm yeah. some schmuck yeah. <laughs> Well, they're also like you talking about the AI being better in 97 and 98. I know that's true because they would pick up. Like, I barely mm -hmm. know what an audible is. But yeah. when I saw the AI call an audible for the first time, yeah. I remember being like, uh-oh. Uh -huh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what my former boss, Christy, would always like, or we're going to have to call an audible. And I'd just sit in my chair and just be like, what? <laughs> and, and I mean, you don't know what that means? Kind of. No. <laughs> like when Audible started being a part of it, that's a major part too because yeah. like football at its core really is two people trying to outthink each other. It's very tactical. And that's not how I played Madden yeah. at all. No, because it, up to that point, it's still like those – I mean, I was thinking about this. It's a lot like those handheld games where you... Like you, the Tiger Electronics. You know, the Tiger Electronic yeah. football is still... You're still just like a, a blob trying to move forward right. on the field. And that's, I understand that. Yeah. So I yeah. like that. <laughs> but but I like more of, you know, uh, like I was playing. Right. And this was like... It got more and more of... Even if it wasn't exactly right, when you could call an audible, it was like, I see the defense you're running and I'm going right. to... Counter I, yeah, yeah, I could see that being better for someone who yeah. knows the game. And as and it got that. even further, they added hot routes, and which is like you could yeah, tell one receiver to do one thing. Always? Uh, like, or like you could switch the play Basically, you could audible just one receiver. Ah, okay. So you could tell him to, you know, if some guy's playing man so close up to him and there's no safety over the top, meaning like a guy Oof. way back garden. That's a safety over the yeah, top? Yeah, the, the, a safety is a guy that's the farthest back on defense. Okay. Usually. Like that is a position? Yeah. Like, over the top just means they're. That's a movie, 20 right? Or th yes, exactly. <laughs> it's, it's but that was about arm wrestling, It's right? the only way to win custody. <laughs> Custody of a child. <laughs> <laughs> uh, arm wrestling with Sylvester yeah, Stallone. We all yeah. know. I've never yeah. seen that movie, but I've yeah. just heard about it. That movie is fucking wonderful just because of just the idea that you could change your hand position and that makes you a master. <laughs> yeah. And then like nobody else. I mean, what we're talking about right now is like basically the AI of arm wrestlers is the worst on earth. Like, geese are better at it. Be because <laughs> in the movie, that he just moves his hand to a position he calls over the top. Ah, I you see. Know? Yeah. And he does it over, like, at, towards the end a couple times. Uh huh. And they talk about it a lot. Nobody is going to pick up, like, I'm, I'm going to do it first. Right. Yeah. At some point, it would just become thumb wrestling. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that's that's my soapbox <laughs> rant about over the top. You know? uh, I mean, I topical. Got you got to be yeah. topical. Yeah. Over the topical. Yeah. Over the topical. <laughs> yes. Well, thanks for telling me what a safety is. I didn't know. Yeah. So, so like, if you had that, there wasn't a safety there. You're more likely to throw long. 
Okay, gotcha. B- because, you know. Because no one's there. No one's yeah. there to cover it. Or if you're like, you know, that corner's blitzing and that safety is over the top, maybe you change it to a shorter route because he has to cover more ground to come get that that guy. Do you know what I mean? I know what you mean, but I wouldn't be able to sit down and tell you, like, <laughs> yeah. this is what's going to happen. I wouldn't be able to look at a formation and be like, this is what they're doing. This is yeah. what's going to happen. Well, know? in the earlier games, they were like, you knew when a guy was blitzing because they would move him and stuff. And now it's a little harder. And and now it's like straight up, like it's you have to be NFL level good to play on like a, to not throw an interception in a game. Oh yeah, like if you're playing simulation on like a certain level of which I don't even know what I play. Kind of the medium probably. Do right. you still? Play? I think I do all pro a little bit because I played it so long. It's not good for me. In, at lower levels. Oh, it's not know. fun. Yeah, but now it's gotten so hard that it's like. In, Unless you can read those defenses, you're going to throw three picks a game at least. Do you know what I mean? So it, it's so you difficult. still play. Like, you still play modern Madden games? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, you know, sometimes life gets crazy and I might miss a year, but then I'll buy it again. And and I've always been – I'm such a Bears fan that it's like I was the the idiot just buying the roster. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I was going to ask yeah. how I mean, important that is. That's what I – Snitch Trump was talking thing, about yeah. that. Like, the most important thing for him as a kid buying these games was that it was a franchise with up-to-date rosters. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. that mattered because up to that point, all the games were just numbers. You yeah. know, like yeah. even like the the Bo Jackson and Walter Payton. There were years like on the games, just thirty four right, spinning and yeah, in like a little field. There's only like eight people on it. Do you know what I mean? And now there's supposed to be eleven. I just realized. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> well, in in the Madden games, they started out like the first the first two on the SNES. Uh, don't have name players, Mm -hmm. and they don't have team names either. It's just the cities. And I mean, at the time is what's important to remember maybe is like these games were still aimed at kids. Sure, you know, yeah. It's, now it's it has become thing that's. I mean, kids too, obviously. Sure, but it's just as but many also, adults. Yeah, adults. You know? And so that was like there was no quicker way to hook a kid back than when you play sports. It's always like pretending you're Michael Jordan, pretending you're whoever. You know. Walter Payton for football or, or whatever. See, so, so not having that list, it's like... And it makes sense because oh, we grew up. Really... Because honestly, it's the tie-in between like a uh, fantasy realm RPG and like the way people play sports games. It's, it's just a matter of what you want to pretend you're being. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah for, oh, sorry. Oh, no, I was just like, because to that point, talking about like fantasy... Fantasy RPGs and football, like, because where I see, like, Verde, when you were streaming last night, then it's, yeah. you're talking about, like, these plays, people are calling them, they know what to do. It's like, but the same point, like, I could watch somebody new playing Final Fantasy and, like, okay, why are you, why are you casting fire on that, on that water creature? Right. Like, it's, yeah. it's the you same, like, just say it makes me, sense to me. You know? <laughs> yeah. A Dennis, a real fine, Dennis. Yeah. 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 Because, I mean, I, I think it wouldn't even be funny. I think it would be a little bit of horror <laughs> just judging because, I I mean, I really don't know, which just shows the shithead I was as a kid because Tony played these games, and he'd be like, this is cool. I'm like, like I don't fucking care. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play some sports. You know, Punch like, me with that one boxing yeah. glove. <laughs> uh, I mean, what I used to say to Tony all the time was like, I don't want to play your goddamn math games. Because <laughs> <laughs> to me, all I saw was like, well, you can't cast this and it's this much it's right like, i don't want to do the math i don't want to do the math which yeah. is why i'm so successful today <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well i mean like the beauty of those games is like, like neither no one at this table is good at math but like i still played them because it yeah. does all the math for but, you but but again that does that just proves i don't know what the hell yeah. i'm talking about right, you know what I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah i'm not trying to say they are math games right. i'm saying that, i don't know what the fuck i'm talking that, about that was yeah. the perception yeah yeah one thing, I guess I have trouble, I struggle getting into football because I guess I I just am blind to the nuance of it. Because yeah. I feel like every time I sure. sit down and, watch, play, and watch, try to watch football, I just see quarterback either throws short and very fast and the guy runs, or long, the guy catches it and he runs, until you get close, then everybody runs. And well, linemen only exist to run into each other. Well, <laughs> I mean, what's impressive about like what you're saying is on an NFL level is – I mean, I've watched an NFL Live, and it took – and after 20 years watching on TV and watching the quickness from they get three-point stance on a line to tackle a quarterback, you're talking about 
1.37. I mean, these people are X Men, <laughs> you yeah. know. Like, and so when what NFL they the coaches even say is like for a quarterback, for example, it's like in the co- college you throw to who's open, and in the NFL you throw to where they're going to. Be gotcha. Because they're moving at such a speed. Right. Everyone is. You have to think ahead, or you're mm-hmm. you're you're screwed. And then, but I understand the the nuance. I mean, originally that's not what attracted me to football. It was the violence, <laughs> straight up. You know, I like putting on pads and hitting people and tackling and all that kind of stuff. But then as I did it, I understood it more and liked it more and more. Yeah. And it's, it's definitely more like a, it's the most chess like sport to me. Yeah. You know, because there is a pause and a, yeah. And you I mean, set up and yeah. I mean, it really is turn based. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know? Totally. I mean, how often does one lineman knock down another lineman and get to the quarterback? Oh, uh, it depends on the team, but I, I would say on average, Three to six sacks a game. It, uh, that on a, so an that average way more than I've actually ever seen it. Yeah. So, like, uh, not to brag, but like a team like the Bears, they they will be higher about that because like people like Mac, like a uh, Khalil Mac, are aren't human. <laughs> like uh, he can walk over a person. You know, I he actually throws four hundred pound linemen with one hand. As he's running, mm. and so like uh, those guys plus blitzes and stuff. You, but I would say what happens is quarterbacks like Peyton Manning and Tom Brady have such a quick release, and they read defenses so quick. They you don't have the time to get there. Plus, if you have a good line, you know, because the line is the it's the least talked about, most important part of football. I'm about to say because I never I hear like even yeah. time I play fantasy football, it's like ah, oh, your defense, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Unless you're getting a push. Like on running plays, you're not going to open a hole to run. And if you can't run block, it's – I mean, those guys in the NFL especially can get to you in barely a second, if if a second. I mean, these guys run four three forties. It's like a crazy amount of speed. I know what that means because uh, the only reason I know what four three forties mean is because it's like in Madden ninety seven and ninety six, ninety seven, and ninety eight. They added a new feature to the game where you can create a character and you go through uh, not training, you go through tryouts. Yeah, yeah. And then the tryouts they have like uh, you choose your position. You choose like the character's height their weight, uh, the position, and then uh, their skin color. Yeah. And then uh, you go through five exercises. Which I think might be something that Nintendo had and Sega didn't. I'm not. Oh, a, really? Yeah? Because I, I, I had a Sega and I don't remember that a lot. It but. came on l- it, later in the series, yeah. so I don't know. I, the only Genesis NFL game I ever played was probably, it probably was Madden 94. It yeah. was the, whichever the big one was when I was in middle school, yeah, it yeah. was that one. Uh, but I thought that was a cool segment where it's like, well, this is neat because it's like it reminded me of uh, when we played NFL Quarterback Club yeah, yeah. and they had those shitty mini games. But they but didn't the, do anything. Right. Really? They yeah, weren't yeah. tied to anything. But yeah. in this in Madden, they they were tied to a character that you could bring in to the the real game. Which is something modern Madden Maddens have done even better with, to the point that like I think Tyler could play it and enjoy it because it's almost like they've created a storyline with mini games as the focus. Okay. All right. To where it's like a uh, what's that show? It's a show you like that, like the Texas high school football Friday Night Lights. Friday yeah, night. Yeah, so yeah. it's very, very much seems like they're marrying. I kind could of play a Friday, a Friday Night, night Lights sports yeah. RPG. Sports <laughs> RPG. Yeah. You know, and then it'll just put you in situations where you have to score a touchdown to win the big game and stuff like that. But all the, mm-hmm. the whole time, there's kind of like even decisions of like, you know, do you want to retire or keep going and blah blah blah. I could get into that, man, but they gotta like make it different. Like they have to make it. Well, they also have like a. a uh, arcade or simulate. So the well, arcade, an arcade it, version, or yeah. like everyone and, a squirrel or something, because like that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> no, you know? I, I just make more of like it easier for the layman. It's gotcha. less about like making sure it's run pass. It's you gotcha. know it's more right. like the old other games. Yeah, the older games. Yeah. Basically. All right. Well, I mean, but they still look like people. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be a problem for me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if they paid them. You know, thirty million bells a year. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like if they had, like if Nintendo released official Animal yeah. Crossing football DLC, <laughs> yeah. I would buy that. I want to play Ratatosker, Squirrel Messenger of the Norse Gods, in a football game right, yeah. and make bells. Right. 
I mean, your, let, your teammate got caught with guns. Should you a pick him up? <laughs> <laughs> Put on my sweatpants. Go to club. Yeah. I mean, look, like it's one of those things where it's like. I'm only kind of joking. Honestly, if there was a game like that, yeah. I would totally buy it. And I don't think I'm alone. Like, I really think that there is a market there for yeah. like people who, like, there's a game called Golf Story. I don't know if you're familiar yeah, with Golf I am. Story. I've watched you play it. I and think. it's like Golf Story is like, I don't dislike golf games, but it's not my favorite genre. Mm-hmm. But Golf Story is this like, cute golf game that is also an RPG. And it is like, yeah. it, it has golf mechanics. Like you got the fucking sliding bars, you got to choose your power mm-hmm. and all that. And you got to like hit balls in the holes, but they build a story around it. They, it's got, it's got this like Stardew Valley kind of like 32 oh, bit, like okay. art style yeah. that there, I feel like there's a market for that. And it's like, if there was a football game like that, yeah. fucking yes. Dude. I, I think right now there is like RBI baseball has become more of that baseball game for yeah. like in sports because it really is just push a button to swing and you know just push simple. a button to throw yeah you know? that's what I, I mean yeah. that's really what I want yeah I mean that creates its own challenges because it can be like too easy to hit if you don't do it just right. Sure. Or, and like because they have to make it competitive, the pitching is almost impossible. At yeah. Least the time that I've played it. Well, know? if it has a cute art style, I'll stick with it for it's a very long time. It's not cute at all. They, they make it more. There's no squirrels in it, so I'm Fuck. sorry. Fuck. All right. Damn it. There's <laughs> a, the, there might be a picture of the Philly fanatic. Does it have to be <laughs> a little, a little <laughs> bit, a little bit? How about yeah? Mascots. I want gritty. No, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's all. I want. <laughs> what about a football game where just all the mascots play? It seems like you or more of a Tyler is like no sports at all. That's that's my guess. Uh, and then here like more boxing of like the, games, I guess. Oh, I do. I mean, I love boxing games too. Ro- Foreman Ro- for real. <laughs> I like a, I like a good boxing. Yeah, all right, game. okay, all right. But, but you're like the more the robot league football. Yeah, like totally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to like a. It has to have like. And, and um, that was a similar dynamic with me and Tony. Is like I still like that game, but it was more like yeah, yeah. But let's play it like it's. Well, let's real. play like a real. But I sure. was also kind of the kid still before I just gave up completely. <laughs> <laughs> was like a like you want let's go outside and play real football yeah and you know and yeah that's and, one reason I avoided sports games as a kid because I knew that would fucking come up yeah. and it's like <laughs> no <laughs> let's play Jurassic Park instead yeah and for me it was we're like, not gonna go outside trying to shoot dinosaurs <laughs> yeah. Let's go find porn in the creek instead. <laughs> yeah, I, I was probably, it wasn't until I was 16 or 17 that I hit a point where I was just like, uh, I would rather, this is a lot easier. Do you, do you know what I mean? Like the video game? Yeah, you just mean, playing or? it. Yeah. As a, and I mean, I would have still went and played football. I, you know, it was a medical thing. But like, uh, even so, it was still just an overall attitude as I got older of just like, uh, I don't, you know, want to put forth all this work and when I could just get the reward of playing like the, animal crossing because <laughs> what makes competitive people competitive, like sports competitive, like my family is that that's like a, there's no such thing as a fun game. Sure. Do you know? It's like, yes. well, I've watched my dad curse his golf clubs over and over and say, I don't know why I play this effing game. Right. And I was like, uh, he lear- I don't know either, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, like, is what I said, because at that point I had already hit, like, who cares? It's like, <laughs> you don't win a ring. Like, what yeah. are we doing here? Because it, it would just become miserable. Like, yeah. they are, like, unless they are winning. And it kind of feeds into something that a lot of people are watching right now is the, you know, that Bulls documentary on ESPN that everyone's talking about, uh-uh. the, the Last Dance. Okay. It's about the the second three-peat the Bulls did, and it's a lot of behind-the-scene footage they never showed of Michael Jordan. Oh, okay. And supposedly, like... Is it in you? What? Have you ever seen his Gatorade <laughs> commercial? Yeah, he, they yeah. talk about Do it. They? Yeah, they <laughs> is it, Do is it in you? Uh, kind of. Is it in you? Because I, uh, <laughs> I mean, I was deep into that. I watched him on on TV and shit. But like, he's the kind of guy that in the documentary they show that, like, even though he was like, you know, a multimillionaire, he wanted to take your money. Yeah. And it's not for the money. It's to say I'm better than you. Yeah. You know, and that's that's just a something that not everyone understands. Like it, and I have been that way. Yeah, but, sure. But I, I mean, I haven't been that way. For so long, because I a really personality can't. type. Scotty Pippen was just cheap. I, mean, so. I, I think it's a, a personality type to a degree, but also, I mean, I, I was just around it so much. Yeah, I mean, yeah. How could I have had any other personality? Yeah, sure. <laughs> you know? 
No, I mean, I get it because it's like, yep. dude, even like the chill game that Animal Crossing is where everyone's like, what do you like about Animal Crossing? Everyone's like, well, you know, it's cool. It's relaxed. It's chill. And mm. that's all true. Yeah. But I definitely want to have my house paid off before everybody else. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's like I definitely want to have like a five-star island like – before anybody else. Like, there's definitely that drive <laughs> oh, like to it. like a competition. Not to a lot of people, but to me, to me it's yeah. like, yeah. So, I mean, like, I understand that. <laughs> I can't that. believe you You're just gonna stuck me. your actual life <laughs> yeah. in there. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah, it's weird to see, like, stuff like that. And it's like... Um, like, that's always the worst selling point for me. It's like, I can general, if he's like, I know this guy, he's just like you. Don't introduce not, yeah, don't, him to me. Yeah, tell him. That guy, <laughs> he sounds like a real asshole. You know? <laughs> And, and and the same goes for like uh like most of that stuff is it's just like a eh. <laughs> I mean I'm not a I'm not a dick about it I want to help people too but it's yeah. like but I still like definitely want to like if someone I don't th- I don't think it's wrong to be a dick about it it's an imaginary <laughs> world you know what I, mean? no, I think it is kind of wrong to be a dick about it, it is an imaginary world but I mean it's your world you can make it whatever you want yeah, yeah. but I mean you know you don't want to be. Like, I mean, but I mean, I think the game is probably set up in a way that that would only hurt your. Yes. Probably. Yes. I, mean, I have no idea what I'm yes. talking about. Yes. Highly cooperative. Yes. Yeah. Because you definitely want to have like a good relationship with other islands. It's so the same stuff. reason when I created a civil war in my senior social studies class. When Tell we me that. more about this. Yeah. It's like, like uh, so, you know, when you break apart and become countries, like, and to learn about like the United Nations, I just immediately is like, I wanted to, you know. Sure. I also had a. <laughs> good public school well, system. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. It was about. like senior social problems. What are it United Nations? <laughs> if I, I mean, it was just a bullshit class, honestly. And so, I mean, I was the guy that was like uh, trying to break it up to the point that it ended it me and my buddy <laughs> and the teacher was success really angry. <laughs> I bet because he had planned it in a certain way, guessing that there wouldn't be a bunch of assholes. And turns out. We were a bunch of assholes. Yeah. You know? Turns out everybody was human. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and, I mean, honestly, it was out of, I just didn't want to be a part of what they built. <laughs> 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 the other people in my group were kind of dicks. And I just thought, let's leave with me and my buddy and this guy in a band. And we formed Happy Land. And they were th- unhappy about it. <laughs> <laughs> they were not thrilled. <laughs> well, can you really have happiness if you don't have unhappiness? I mean... It's like lighten, it's yeah, like I know that's shadow. what makes me happy. Yeah. That's <laughs> other people's unhappiness. Yeah, <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> All right. So how many of these M. Madden games has everyone played? Many? Not many, I'm assuming. Like, Do uh, they blur together? Yeah, they definitely yeah. blur together. I think it's a lot like, you know, a weird tie-in is like Apple, like uh, OS systems. To where yeah. it's like every three, there's usually a big a jump. big change. Yeah. The you know there might be two years that it's just a roster update, and then they're like changing the the wrapping. You they, know what I mean? They all will look slightly different because they're like different designers for almost yeah, every exactly. game. Yeah, they were developed by like they were like I think like three major developers that that did them that were eventually absorbed by EA, so they kind of became mm-hmm. EA. They became in the game. Yeah, <laughs> the game. right. It they are in in you. They are. It is in yeah. you. Were in it. <laughs> EA. Do you remember the EA? Their. Do you remember their slogan? Of course you do. It's in the game. Is it's in a, the game. It's in the game. Yeah. Um, I mean, we would say it along as it started. And of course, EA yeah. Sports. It's, it's in, in the, the, the game. game. Yeah. Uh, did you know that that guy did that for free? Oh my god! Yeah, oh, he did it for free. And luckily, EA was so cool that they later paid him a bunch. Oh, of, of no, course yeah, they yeah, did. Yeah, yeah, of course they did. He got a lot of exposure. It actually wasn't EA. he was paid because, exposure. Yeah, I yeah. mean, I hear about trickle down <laughs> economics all the time, and that's the way it works. Is when rich people have a lot of money, they always give it away to of the poor. Of course, yeah. that's just how it works. <laughs> it's a solid, solid principle. We've seen it in action. It works. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, that dude's name, I looked him up because I was curious. His name was Andrew Anthony. And yeah, he has this interview where he's not like bitter about it or anything, but he talks like he had a friend who worked for an ad agency. And when EA was a very small company, they approached this ad agency and said, hey, we need to like rebrand. Uh, and 
Andrew Anthony's friend was like, okay, I have an idea. And his idea was EA Sports, it's in the game, which was a play on their previous slogan, which was, if it's in the game, it's in the game. I uh, gotcha. So uh, his friend asked him, like, hey, dude, will you do this for me for free? And he said, yeah, of course. And then, like his friend's like, I'll fly you down. You get a free trip to, like, we get to hang out and all that stuff. Mm. And then it's like, yeah, he does it. And then, like, 10 years later, it's like, I think he said, like, like, at one point, it's like the twelfth most like recognizable like oh, no. slogan, <laughs> like in advertising yeah, yeah. kind of deal. He he by men and by by men and Costanza. Yes, Henry signs everything he draws by Henry. Oh yeah. So every time I'm like by Henry. <laughs> <laughs> every time. And there's no Frank Frank Caliendo in this game. I'm out. And yeah. that's one of the reasons it's a little better. Yay! <laughs> not a fan, yeah. I mean, I'm not not a... I mean, he's all right. It's just a guy doing voices. And sure. And I don't think he's as funny as other comedians yeah. who do voices. Yeah. You know, I would say. Well, did you, you know Rich Little? <laughs> who is Rich Little? <laughs> you don't like, know who Rich Little is? No. It's like the OG impressionist. He was like... He did a real good Reagan, right? Yeah. yeah he's yeah, way yeah. back in the... Like the original roasts and shit. Like, yeah. You know, no, Friars I don't, Club back I in the day. He was a on a lot of Carson. He and, looks yeah. like a corpse, or he did. Now he actually does look just like a corpse. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, because he is one. I think he's dead. Well, let's let's see. Let's hope. Let's a little hope. segment I call. Well, what for sure? What's for sure? Look I sure hope he's dead. I don't want to look <laughs> stupid. You know. So. Remember, if it's in the game, it's in the game. He's probably dead. <laughs> no, I didn't know. Rich Little. I've never watched a lot of this Friar like roast or anything like yeah. that. It's never really been my. Uh, I don't know. I like comedy, but it's never. Egg really on your face. Thing. He's alive. Hey, <laughs> I he like look? the Dean Martin and stuff roast as like old yeah. comedies because you see Don Rickles host sure and, yeah and stuff like that and the, uh, just as like a, a comedy historian kind of person. No, I, I think I like that, it yeah, yeah, totally. I think that's cool. Plus, I, I mean, it's like Sinatra's there. I mean, it's the Rat Pack and stuff. There's yeah. some cool history in it. You I, know? I guess honestly, what I don't like about it is the prestige that surrounds it. Yeah, Do you know what I, I know mean? What mean. Um, yeah. And that's kind of, not to get us on John Mulaney, <laughs> but like, I feel like that's... <laughs> Finally. <laughs> I wondered, Jesus, how long have I been here? <laughs> <laughs> but like, that's one of the things, right? I feel like he is a prestigious comedian. Uh, and I think yeah. he's very funny. I think he's very talented. Uh, and I'm extremely jealous of him. And he probably got a five-star island way before I did. Uh. Now, so, I mean, Rich Little is 81... It's always interesting when you pull up someone's Wikipedia and where it says spouse, there's a, a more option. <laughs> more? He had a lot of spouses? It would appear what, so. One for all of his voices. <laughs> he was the man of a thousand voices. Oh, I've heard nickname. that. And I know him by that checks. name. Yeah. I'm trying to think where who his big ones. He spent a lot of time on Carson, I think. Yeah, he's like on Carson a lot. Did you guys watch... Carson? A little bit, I can remember it. I, I can remember watching it, but not no, knowing really what's on Yeah, it. I don't remember anything. Yeah. I don't my, remember any um, Carson. My theater teacher in high school loved it, so we would watch the big anthologies of oh, Carson okay. a lot. So like, you kind of got it like Nick at Night style. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah. old, so it was live <laughs> when <laughs> I was watching it. Well, you're, we're the yeah. same age. Yeah, I mean, I'm a little older. I'm yeah. 40. Oh, yeah, you yeah, are a little yeah, older. Yeah. Okay. There's a, there's a bit. I still I can't find it. I, I thought, tried to find it so many times. I looked times. at Dave, but you were talking. It was really confusing. I was like, God, <laughs> God, he's Rich Little through his voice. You know, that's, okay. that's all right. I just maintained eye contact with you. Not yeah, it's just, like, it's fine. This is fine. This is normal for you to look at me while Tyler's talking. <laughs> <laughs> there's a, a bit where it's um, Joe Friday from Dragnet yeah. and, and Carson, and they're doing a bit together where – and, and and Joe Friday is completely 100% just like straight man, stone-faced, no breaking character. Not he's moving his arms while he's walking. Not yet, right. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Best Nick at Night commercial. Yeah. Oh, they had some good ones. <laughs> like I learned I learned what um I learned what a double take is from Nick at Night. Like Nick at Night really? was so good cuz they would do mm -hmm. like Hey man, these are the things. Like I remember, I remember. Er, sorry to inter, like. No, totally no, no, go. I, I love this. Go ahead. But I remember like a Nick at Night like house ad where they're just like, "Hey, we're gonna teach you why it's funny to do things in threes. Uh, and it's like where it's like one thing is one thing, another thing that's like it, and then a third thing that's totally different. And then they show like examples of it from like. Dick Van Dyke and like uh, Dobie Gillis. And it's like, I don't know. It was just cool. Like whoever yeah. mm -hmm. wrote that ad was like, 
I like comedy. These are good shows, and this is why. And it's uh, like, holy cool. shit, like it yep. worked. I love. I remember I watched one that was a breakdown of like Rob Petrie tripping or yes. dodging the ottoman. Yes. And like the percentages of how he would move yes. or, or trip. God, I love yeah. those fucking ads, <laughs> dude. So anyway, I'm sorry. Uh, I totally that? railroaded. Okay, that. so it's him maintaining. Stri- being straight faced, having a dialogue with Johnny Carson, who is like a prisoner under interrogation, where the question he's asking him is an increasingly difficult tongue twister. Where at the end, he is going on like a two minute, incredibly intricate tongue twister, in which he does not break, flinch, have any sort of inflection. It was amazing. That's great. That cool. Yeah, I want to look that up. I just recently saw, of all things, like Wayne Brady do something that was similarly yeah. impressive <laughs> to where, like, he did, like, a three- or four-minute rap, like, a uh, freestyle, and it was about whatever they drew, like, uh, so it was on like, this it radio was show. improv? Yeah, it was yeah. improv freestyle yeah. rap. Wow. And it, and it was, I mean, it was unbelievable how good it was. Like, He's super talented. Yeah. Like... It's kind of amazing to me that he's not as like. I, I mean, I'm sure yeah. he does well, but like, it's amazing to me that he's, he's not, not more. He more him in, yeah. yeah, and it might just be because that like genre of comedy is not like a it's very big. Niche. Yeah, yeah. It's, it yeah. is niche. I also want to plug then Middle Ditch and Schwartz on Netflix. What is it? Fuck, that is so good. Tell me Middle about Ditch it. and Schwartz. Okay, so it's Thomas Middle Ditch from uh, Silicon Valley okay. and Ben Schwartz. Oh, okay. Who's John Ralphio? Oh, from, right. Yeah, yeah. And they do. I, I think you mean Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. <laughs> Thank he, you. He, oh, he's he, the voice of Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. He will never be anything but John Ralphio to me. I, <laughs> I, I cannot <laughs> see him as any other thing. They do. I've never actually seen it. I've done a lot of improv. It made me miss improv in college. But they do long, long, um, long form improv. So it's just the two of them on stage, and they'll pick a, they'll say the topic, pick an audience member, and basically hear a funny story, and then build a more complex, hilarious story that they act out, introduce characters, and switch between for like forty five minutes, built on this one story. Interesting. It's so fucking good. Mm. So good. I may be sad they're only like four episodes. I think, honestly, if they're like that long, I feel like, you know, I get it. Yeah. You yeah, like yeah. it. Because I but watched it, it, I was like, come on, give me, give me more. Yeah. Give me like 10. Come on. Yeah. But I think that, I think that most, I think you're the exception, yeah. honestly. Because like, I think most people like, I don't know, man, even with like docuseries and stuff where it's like, yeah, hey, that's enough. Like Tiger King was the exception because it's yeah. like holy shit! Like this is fascinating. Come on, getting more crazy. I, I, I'm actually yeah. the opposite of what Dave's saying because I'm like a, I like meticulous detail. Yeah, like to a point that's insane. Yeah, like, a, like I, to the point that I'm listening. Like I know this is boring and I'm still <laughs> listening, to it, but I somehow want to know every detail because it's not till then that the picture forms kind of thing. And yeah. Like, it's, it's the best docu-series, like when they are longer, just do a good job of telling it from other perspectives, I think. I think with me, I get to a point where it's like, what, are, think, they, what are they trying to put in my yeah. brain? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, how are they trying I, to spin I, this? I think that's the key to a good docu-series maybe is like, how long should it be? Yeah. Do you know? Because there, it's like not a standard thing. It needs to be handled more like the BBC of just like six, four, three, whatever. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. We'll yeah. Just like do it until we're tired. Right. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. And then seven, eight years, we'll do another one. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you guys hear Tiger King is back? No. Uh, <laughs> did Did anyone here see the Joel McHale like after? Yes. Was it good? I've seen a little yes, bit of it. It was yeah. good. All right. It I need to good. watch it. And then they're doing a movie now. Nick Cage is that a real I thing? Saw, I, 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 I don't know if that's real or not. I it's didn't supposed see to that. be like a series. Of it's t- a series. Yeah, I, I think. was like, that's pretty. Nick Cage, that's pr- that's pretty good. Is it a pretty shot good. for shot remake of <laughs> Tiger King? Just <laughs> everyone, know. everyone is the same except for <laughs> Joe Exotic. <laughs> He's in jail, so they had to have him played by Nick Cage. I, I had a very unique experience with the Tiger King stuff because because I do like the meticulous detail stuff. That was one of those podcasts that I just listened to that went like way too in depth about like it went more in depth than even the Netflix series was. There's a podcast, the Tiger yeah, King it's podcast? based off the podcast. The, I, sh- the the docu series is based on the podcast. Yeah, I did not know that. It's either. from a uh, Wondery. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm uh, familiar with Wondery. And, and I watched. I watched. I yeah. Well, it depends on what day you caught me. <laughs> 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 like uh, I listened to a the podcast 
Like, uh, and so none of it was a surprise of what was coming. It yeah. was just being able to watch it visually. I see. Do you know? So it was a little different for me, but still enjoyable because it was like these people. <laughs> they did a really yeah. good job. And like, <laughs> I, and like, I know by this point, I feel like Tiger King is like out of style, you know, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah. but we haven't talked about it yet, but That's like, true. It, they did like a good job of like, I feel like every episode ended on like a cliffhanger reveal yeah, where yeah. it's like, well, fuck, I got to see what Carol Baskin, how, like, did she murder her husband? Yeah. And then you watch the next episode and She's then totally like, her and the- <laughs> <laughs> that's what makes it work is just the level of crazy. It keeps getting, yeah, it ex- escalates. Right? And, and I think another one that does that, which you can watch free on Hulu right now, even though it's like from HBO cause HBO made stuff free. Is that a uh, Mick millions? Yeah. I've heard yeah, of, yeah, I've heard really of that is amazing yeah. as well. I think Paul yeah, Korn yeah. told me that one was really yeah. good. Yeah, there, there's a moment when I'm watching that that I like because of if you, everyone knows what it's about, I'll just say it like that, where I'm thinking I might still be involved in this, and then the, there is a moment where it's like, no, nope, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it's a clear moment. Like, yeah, and I can't go into any more details. All right, I'd be sp- it yeah, ruin it. Like gotcha. Because it it is a solid documentary, and I you know I, I suggest it. See, yeah. I do love a good documentary. Like I think documentaries. As much as I love comedies, I think documentaries might be my favorite genre of film. Yeah. And the good thing is all of them are out. You know, it was a weekly thing, and now you've got the, the lineup to okay, watch all Okay, just going of, to binge yeah. through. And I think there's like five or six. It's not a lot. I hear the death helicopter See, above yeah, us. They're plainsy. I don't think the mics are picking that up. I'm <laughs> checking I'm checking both of you guys, making sure you're still with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm sure everyone here is familiar with the Madden Curse. Yes. Yes, definitely. That was recently broken. Was it recently broken? The the last person on the Madden cover was uh, the Kansas City quarterback. I suddenly can't think of his name. Like uh, uh, it's I'm, the it's the curse. I'm not going to be able to forget you. his name. And that just yeah. won the Super Bowl. That uh and oh yeah. Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes. Yeah. All right. So he was on the cover, <laughs> and he's like revolutionized football recently. So. Really. Him and Lamar Jackson, I would say. So I don't know. I obviously I know Patrick Mahomes because I looked it up. Yeah. But like, tell me about Antonio Brown. <laughs> Antonio Brown. <laughs> All right. Uh, so there's two because he was on the cover of 2019. Him. Yeah, Antonio Brown's on the cover of 2019. He signs a a pretty big contract. Once a bigger one starts. There's two ways to tell this story, and All I'm right. gonna tell it the best way. The the <laughs> the best <laughs> the best way is this: is that he signs with another team fifty million dollars, okay, and then goes to that other team, the Raiders, and only makes it through two to three weeks of training camp because he can't use the helmet he wants. Like he's got a special helmet or something. And then, he, like, then he just stopped. It was more an old school that NFL didn't want him to use I anymore. See. And then there was a. F- They're like, we don't but, want you to die. But then it was like whatever was next. He was complaining about, and, and so to the point that they released him, and he lost like fifty million dollars just because he wouldn't show up to practice. And and he's like crazy as shit, and he's just like uh, always getting in. Twitter battles and fights in the locker room. Sure, and, and but the see this—that's the more sounds like our president. <laughs> you, you took it out of my mouth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, you say Twitter you, fights in locker room. You got that's political this time. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, do it. that was easy. That was see, low. That was fruit. like yeah. That that was I mean, on the ground. I don't think we, <laughs> Antonio Brown is not as bad as the president for this simple reason: is that a lot of people say that his personality changed because of this guy named Montez Perfect. Montez Perfect. <laughs> is, yeah. that a, is that a that's a key and peel? <laughs> but, but, but but Montez Perfect. I, I think I bought a bucket from that elf in Skyrim. <laughs> it does sound like that a is like an deal. elf in Skyrim. <laughs> But he basically, uh, he's as close to a hitman as there is in the NFL. Oh shit! To where they take all... it back, Montez Burkfit. <laughs> they, they they I, they suspended him for over a year because he hits people head first at full speed into their head. Do you think oh, he was trying to kill God. his friend? And he was like, "No, use that old out of date helmet. It'll be mine." <laughs> no, that's not the one who does it. That's that's a. Uh, What's Antonio Brown. Antonio, Antonio Brown. Brown. So perfect hit Brown to the, <laughs> to the point that he like uh, he was unconscious for for like five ten minutes oh, on the shit. field, like to the point people worried. And they say from that point on, his his personality switched, changed, yeah. And and now he's not only not with another team that he then went to New England and got kicked out in another week. 
where they would have picked up a lot of his contract. And then he just doesn't play football anymore. What does he do? He rants on Twitter about how he should play football. Like professionally? (laughs) And like the XFL didn't even offer him anything when it was around. He's pretty imperfect, if you ask me. That's a good fucking joke. That's a good joke. What yeah. about what about 2018? Uh, I haven't heard of this guy before. Tom Brady. He uh, Tom Brady on Madden 2018 cover. Yeah, I, I, Giselle's husband. Is he oh, the, is that who that yeah, is? Yeah. He's the guy with it now. Any air in his balls? Ah. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he's got really <laughs> deflated balls. 2017. Uh, Rob Gronkowski. I've heard of this guy. He got injured from that point on and didn't, and then retired. I see. But now he's coming back and following Brady to Tampa Bay. 2016 was Odell Beckham Jr., who was definitely yeah, he that's got me your boy. a fuckload of points in the Tadpog <laughs> yeah, Fantasy Football. Well, the next season he got traded to the worst, one arguably one of the worst teams in football, the Cleveland Browns. Okay, really arguably, <laughs> like a, and there like, was moments where he was like. A, Supposedly, he was literally on the field talking to other players, saying, "Hey, man, tell your coach to come get me, man. Come get me. <laughs> tell your <laughs> coach to come get me." So, so, like Is straight it like up a sleepover, and you're like, like, like a secret straight call up to trying mom? to get a trade. Like no, my coach, my players, coach talked to your coach, and yeah. I'll, I'll just you come pick me up, mom. I don't want to be here so, anymore. They <laughs> eat weird food. I mean, mom. I I think usually what stands out in those stories is like these are not great teammates. I mean, they're not Aaron mm. Hernandez bad, but they're no. pretty bad. <laughs> Madden 2015, Richard Sherman. Uh, you know, we're, I don't know if anything too bad. Sherman might have got hurt. He, it says that he injured his elbow. This uh, is honestly yeah. more just like a quiz. <laughs> I yeah. could I could read these off. But. Yeah, I mean, he still won a Super Bowl and stuff. So, I mean, it's like... So that's pretty good. It's like yeah, the end of the notebook. It's mainly positive. They got a lot of those well, rings on Pawn Stars. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. So, I mean, why even play? That, You're right. That goes back to my old, earlier point, to buy a ring. To buy a ring. You know? And uh, just hang out. 2014 was Adrian Peterson. Oh, he got in trouble for uh, leaving a lot murder? of whelps on his kid's ass. He, uh, like, maybe child abuse. Child abuse, bit. that's not a good look. Uh, 2013. Tadpog, we're against child abuse. <laughs> strong stand. Yeah, yeah. Strong stand. 2013, my favorite president, Calvin Johnson. <laughs> wait, wait. I need to know before I say anything else. Is Are you for freedom, though? I mean, yeah, I'm for yeah. freedom. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm for freedom. I like doing. I like being able to go to McDonald's at eleven o'clock at night. It's fine. I like it. I mean, I've never met her, so. <laughs> 2013, Calvin Johnson. Uh, I mean, he played for the Lions. That's pretty bad. He probably retired the next season just out of nowhere, just so he didn't have to play for the Lions. His entry is very short. I feel like the curse was like very kind of forgiving. Over him, yeah. I mean, his worst thing is just having to play for the Detroit Lions. Which is pretty bad. <laughs> uh, first time caller Nate Lines and uh, executive producer Dick Dougie will uh, they'll either be mad and hey, agree or just be I, mad. Hey, I, I, I'm not trying to like <laughs> stick a knife in your ribs. I, I'm a Cubs fan. I know how it goes. <laughs> you know, like for, at least for a lot of years there. Uh, like, but there's just no denying it's not going. It's well. not a good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 2012 Peyton Hillis. That's one of the weirdest ones. He was oh, like good. a one-hit wonder of of football, where it's he's like, like the Smash Mouth of football. Like he came out and like <laughs> I'm gonna uh, hit, I'm gonna know, hit exactly. somebody. <laughs> yeah. well, he, he was an he all star. So <laughs> yeah. All right, so I'm sorry. He was a one-hit wonder. Yeah, and and basically he just had one amazing, like truly truly amazing season, and then just fell off the map. Mm. 2011, Drew Brees. I know this one, quarterback of the Saints. Did something bad happen to him? He might have lost the Super Bowl that year. I think, I mean, didn't they win? They lost one year and won. Oh, okay. They All lost right. to Peyton Manning. No, they beat Peyton Manning, and didn't they lose? Oh, they lost to Seattle, yeah, according yeah. to this. So that's it. I guess that's the curse. They lost the Super Bowl. But, I mean, they got to the Super yeah, Bowl. Yeah, that's you're being uh, pretty nitpicky. Yeah, you're stretching yeah, it. Yeah. 2010, wow. I guess they shared it. Troy... Polamalu? Palamalu. Palamalu. Yeah. And Larry, my second favorite president, Larry Fitzgerald. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Cal- Calvin Johnson and Larry Fitzgerald. Very pa- good president. Their pa- secretary's down in the birthplace. 
Palomalu you know? <laughs> probably just got hurt. But he was a great player. And then Larry Fitzgerald is still playing, even though he's like 40 years old and a receiver. He's a great player, too. But I don't know what happened bad to him. Um, Who was the football player that got like catfished by a radio DJ in Hawaii? That was a, a Notre Dame middle linebacker that now plays at least the last. Oh, he actually plays for the Saints now. He yeah. played for San Diego. What? I can't. Uh, Manti Teo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A no, great linebacker in no. college. <laughs> None just, of my characters yeah. I created made it on the Saints. None of my characters were like they. Everyone was like, "Nope, you were not good enough. You got to go back and play those mini games mm. again." Uh, this says that Larry Fitzgerald um, missed playoffs with a rib injury. Uh, uh, a rib injury. Mm-hmm. A rib injury. Uh, Twenty nineteen. Brett Favre. I don't want to talk about it. All right. <laughs> That's, that's fire. I, he just got in trouble for accidentally taking like millions of dollars in welfare. How do you accidentally do that? I don't, of like tax breaks and stuff because of the COVID thing. And and I want to also remind everybody that he sent pictures of his penis to women. And he's just a real motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Worst of all, he's played for the Packers. I know it's terrible. <laughs> did he send the? Did he send? Wait, did they? How long was he doing the dick pics before Packers or after? He was doing the dick pics during the Jets. He played for the Jets for a period, like at the end of his career. Okay, and uh, he was married to a woman who just got over breast cancer. All right, not a good look. Yeah. So this is actually, I'll be honest with you, when you get into like the. The rumor mongering of football. Oh, that's I, not a rumor. That's true. No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> Brett Favre is a piece of shit. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Let me rephrase that. When you get into the drama of the personal lives of the athletes, Ooh. all of a sudden I see like it might be inter- I NFL care might about be football right? a little bit. Yeah, weird. <laughs> I mean, like Dave Chappelle talks about the Ray, Lu- not Ray Lewis, Ray Rice stuff. You know, of the the guy that the video of just punching yeah, out the girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. There definitely is. I mean, it's it's a little bit like a, you know, you can't send a guy off to war and expect him. And I'm not saying football's war, but it is a violent game. Sure. And these guys are muscled up and and taught to be, you know, vicious. And you can't expect it not to sometime roll seep, over. I seep guess. into their lives. Yeah. You know, with, Pup, but never good. Don't get me wrong. You know. <laughs> 2008. Vince Young. Uh. Man, for it's, real? Uh, the lead singer, Motley Crue. All right. Like, he, <laughs> he was probably a rookie in the league then because that's about as long as he stayed around. He never did anything. Yeah, it does so. say he was, the like, one of the brightest rising stars. Uh, and then injury. Ah, oh, the, uh, the Sam Bowie of football. Okay. 2007, Sean Alexander. Man, oh, that was a running back for Seattle. Uh, Nailed he, it. He probably got injured, I, I would assume. Uh, he fractured his foot. Made him miss six games, and he never recovered. Yeah, I mean, running back's the worst position in football for, like, longevity. Like, statistically, you know, it's like a three-year window. Really? That the average running back will be – I think it's actually less than a year for the average. But, like, a, like you know, even if you make it to a certain point, you don't last – because it's such so wear and So it's like, tear. yeah, so much, yeah. And your speed just drops as age As you hits. get older. Yeah. So. Uh, 2005, Ray Lewis – who we just kind of talked about a little bit. I mean, Ray Rice was the guy who hit a woman. Ray Lewis. Oh, my bad. Ray Lewis is the guy who might have murdered a guy. Or oh! Ma- he was at least involved. But try <laughs> oh. now, Tony is like real mad because he's such a Ravens fan. He'll talk a bunch of bullshit. He'll Lewis. talk a bunch of bullshit. But that, <laughs> yeah. that, that guy was there. Like, a, like, he didn't murder a guy. Yeah, he was just hanging out with a bunch of murderers. Gotcha. Either way. You know. <laughs> I don't know R. Kelly didn't pee on that girl. We don't know. We don't know it was R. Kelly. 2004, Michael Vick. Ah. I don't know what he did. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Whatever it was, I'm sure it was fine. Yeah. (laughs) I'm I'm sure there's not still like a lot of people harping on it. Nah, that's insane that that was playing 16 years ago. When did all the dogfight stuff happen? Like it, it, it was about that long. You know, it was about wow. 12 years ago, probably. That makes me feel like time is very much going by too fast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So we were we were in Nashville celebrating with my celebrating my 21st birthday when Michael Vick was <laughs> Fighting dogs. Fighting dogs. Like he was literally fighting them, I heard. Yeah, yeah. like they were they were trying to overthrow humans. Right. Michael yeah. Vick was in the way. He was our savior. <laughs> he, he was, was our, our, defi- our lone defender. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 2003, Marshall Falk. Oh, yeah, St. Louis Rams, even though he started with the Colts. But uh, You know a lot. That might have been <laughs> uh, 
the end of his career is the only thing I could think of, like an injury maybe. It says the season he graced the cover. You're right. He suffered a lingering ankle injury that caused him to miss two games. Um, and then he that was the, the peak of his career, essentially. Uh, it just declined. I mean, he had a Hall of Fame career, so it's not like he hasn't done well. Sure, yeah. sure. Uh, 2002, is it Dante Culpepper? Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. The Vikings quarterback. He was like one of the first big – he was like a, the first Ben Roethlisberger without the rape. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. That sounds like a romantic uh, – yeah. like a Harlequin romance novel lead. Dante, Dante Culpepper. Culpepper. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, 2001, Eddie George. Eddie George was a Ohio State running back that won the Heisman and then played for the Tennessee Titans. But I don't know if anything, he probably just, I mean, injuries. Injury. Are, yeah. All these guys got injuries. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Injury. Uh, 2000, uh, Bernie Sanders. I'm sorry, Barry Sanders. <laughs> <laughs> same, same thing. You got both, a little both, football. Both are socialists. No, I, I, <laughs> it would be weird if Barry Sanders listened that, to that because it's like I really respect him, but he was really mean to the Bears. But Barry Sanders was the ultimate running back to watch because it was like a cartoon. People just couldn't tackle Barry him. Sanders takes too but, much. He plays two sports. Yep. You get one sport and you're happy about it. <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, I he he retired early on his own. I thought I don't think he really. Uh, it does talk about this. Um, is from FanDuel dot com uh, that I'm reading this list. They do talk about um, the shocking moves that you that you yeah. mentioned. Um, he said it says that he unexpectedly retired during training camp. Yeah. So and he, that he would never play again, again. because I mean, he, he played for the li- this, he played for the man. Lions and he just thought this isn't <laughs> worth it anymore. I mean, straight up, like mom, come pick me up. <laughs> he was like nose to nose with winning the or like setting the record for rushing with Emmett Smith, who Emmett Smith later did, and he did it without an offensive line at all. <laughs> you know, like Emmett Smith had the the best line in football history. Sure. You know? So he was running through huge holes and Barry Sanders was running backwards and then around. And, you know. And so it was way more – it was impressive to watch him leave, and it was all pretty much because I play for the, the Lions. The Lions. And there's no way to – I'm going to win in the next sure. three or four years before I get before beat you have up. To, right. Yeah. Uh, and then the last one, 99, Garrison Hurst. Oh, man. Really? Yeah, according to this, uh, according to FanDuel. He probably got Hurst. Oh, well, I f- hey, yeah. man. <laughs> I forgot who Garrison was. Wow, <laughs> you're on fire. <laughs> Is that, well, did he play for the Giants or did he play for it? Um, he was the first player to appear on the cover of the Madden video game franchise. Up until that point, it was Madden. I know that doesn't yeah, answer yeah. your question, <laughs> uh, but I'm just reading what they're yeah, giving me. And his dick got weird. His so. dick, dick got super <laughs> curly. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone knew it was his because they saw it in the locky ro- locky room. Yeah. The locky room. That's what they call it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, once you've been there enough, you can call it by yeah. its nickname. Do you remember it's when the Rugrats room. played football? And they all got in dressed the in the locky room. I just, I just like <laughs> the idea of that being the only word that's like that, to where the coach is just tearing into him like, "You got to cover these fucking guys. Now get your ass to the locky room right away." <laughs> Isn't it the worst fucking thing in the world when you are trying to be super serious and you are upset and then your brain is just like, I'm going to make one word fucked up. (laughs) Perfect. Lucky room now. Uh, I don't need to put up with this duty anymore. (laughs) That's a little misery style. Kathy Bates, cocky duty football game. Uh, He had an injury. He broke an ankle. So bad that he ended up missing two full seasons. Oh, did he play for the Cardinals? Um, he was in the midst of a great run and even helped lead his San Francisco 49ers team oh, shoot. to I, the playoffs. I I forgot where he Cardinals was. have weak ankles. They're they got bird bones. They're little bird. Yeah, bird bones. they're hollow so they yeah. can fly. Yeah. <laughs> you did very well, man. I'm impressed. I mean, I'm a pretty rabid football fan, I, but, I would say. And, and like I said, I'm into detail, so I'm yeah. usually listening a lot. I, I, And I used to be someone who watched a lot of ESPN and stuff. I don't really do that much. Now, especially, since there's – I mean, those poor bastards. <laughs> I almost want to watch Sports Center every day now just to see. Oh, like, just to see what they what do? What are you talking about? Yeah. Like, some, <laughs> dude, like yeah. some dude playing the mandolin or something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you did a pretty perfect job. Yeah, pretty, pretty perfect. perfect. Oh, pretty perfect. perfect. I'm, yeah. glad, I'm glad I could give that to you. Oh, yeah. You know? I'm going to have that for a while. Yeah. <laughs> 
He is not someone who will think it's funny. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I'm no, sure. No, no, no. He's going to murder us, I'm sure. Remember that Tadpog feud between <laughs> Tadpog and <laughs> M- M- Mosul Perfect? Mr. Well, know. he used to play in Cincinnati, so he's not he's that not far. He's not that far. Yeah, yeah, All right. Like, <laughs> so Madden was on the cover of the games from 93 he to 90. come on the show. We'll debate. <laughs> to 93 to 98. Would you say that Madden has suffered from the Madden curse? Or is he like the lich that like just inflicts <laughs> these curses on? I, I would say that. But I don't yeah. think the Madden curse happened until the players, obviously, because Madden just kept getting more and more popular as a broadcaster. I mean, the thing is about Madden being popular as a broadcaster, he was popular in a time where there wasn't a lot of choices. Sure, yeah. Either. And I mean, to some degree, there's still not because there's only so many sporting events. The same people do it. There's right. Usually a lot of hate. Or love. For, I mean, people just usually feel very passionate about the guy who's telling them what's happening during the game. Like right now, Joe Buck is just a hated person. I don't know who that is. He's a famous announcer from Chicago, not from <clears throat> Chicago, from St. Louis. His dad announced like the Cardinals when they won a bunch of World Series. Okay, Uncle stuff. Buck's but, other brother. But Joe ah. Buck has become more of a, na- a national <laughs> announcer, so he'll do Super Bowls and NBA okay. Finals. Okay, okay. And, and he's like with Troy Aikman a lot. Is always his partner. Who was the dude who commentated with Madden? Because he shows up in it's 97. Pat and Summerall. Pat Summerall. Yeah. Now, if- he was like a cool just play by play guy. He was as straight laced, though, as Madden was kind of eating two ducats on a bus. Right. Know, yeah. <laughs> If Madden and Summerall were in an arm wrestling competition, which one do you think would use the over the top move first? Madden. Madden. Okay. Yeah. Madden was a, a Super Bowl winning coach. You know, he, so. The Raiders. Yes? Yeah. The Raiders. Okay. Yeah. Oh, LL Cool J. Okay. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, it was before that, but like, <laughs> <laughs> like uh, he was part of things like the Heidi Bowl game. And uh, which is a game that got preempted the Super Bowl. What is it? The Heidi Bowl? The, the Heidi Bowl game. Is it Heidi Klum just playing football by herself? You go to the locky room, you play the, the Heidi Bowl. Yeah. <laughs> the, the scores, <laughs> their scores tied. There's three minutes left, and they cut to our previously scheduled programming in progress, the Heidi. The Heidi. I got you. The show. And so nobody knew what happened until they like heard it on the radio or found a newspaper. And so it was like a, considered one of the greatest mistakes of like picking what, yeah. what to show because football came on, came along to be like more and more people were watching. Sure. And watching. More so, mainstream. But I'm almost sure that Mad was a part of that. And there's another like forward fumble game that he was a part of. And maybe even the Immaculate Conception on the other side. I'm not sure if he was still coaching then. Reception, not Conception. I would, essentially, what, although I'd watch that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Especially if John Mad was involved. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking we should see if Antonio Brown can block us on Twitter. <laughs> oh, holy <laughs> God, no. It shouldn't be that hard. Yeah. Uh, okay, so essentially what I'm doing, because we are never going to talk about a Madden game ever again on the show. Um, I want to go ahead and – so I want to talk about uh, other until things. Until we're done with the SNES list. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then we do all the Madden games. Uh, I, are you guys familiar with the player I was not? Uh, Christian Kirksey? No. Okay. He uh, played for the Tennessee Titans, it looks like. And he was the in t- – The Titans. The Titans, sorry. I stand corrected. The Titans. When they cast Quake – Make sure to have all your football players <laughs> floating. <laughs> that is a joke I lifted from Twitch chat. Uh, I think from Grimm. I'm not positive. Um, in NFL, in Madden NFL 15, uh, there was I don't know whether this is true or not. I don't know if it was a programming bug, uh, but he is six two and 235 pounds in real life. Uh, but in the game, he was uh, seven inches tall. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> there, there is an image of him uh, where it looks like Honey, I Shrunk the Kid. One of the players has been shrunk that down. Is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it just reminds me of NBA James. <laughs> mm. Do you have, have any achievements for the Madden series as a whole? Uh, I have some that came from Twitch chat, but I feel like I just talked a bunch. So I I think maybe mine would simply be to everything Zen, which is just being able to listen to the same twelve Maddenisms for months on end without fucking losing it. Yeah, like if you could stay calm and just be like, I really enjoy that. You've reached a level of enlightenment I'll never attain. I thought when you first started, I was really hoping to say you listened to, I was like 16 stone on repeat while playing Madden. 
Do you remember everything's in? No, I don't. Oh man, I, we were. We I think we listened to different music. Maybe if I heard it, I would know. It's I a Bush know. song. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah no, everything's in. Everything. Oh yeah yeah, 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 yeah. That's perfect, actually. It's yeah. like probably the top ten. I thought you said everything's in. Every. Is it in you? Yeah, like the Gatorade song. Right. Everything's in you, everything's <laughs> in you. Do you have any other achievements? I like that one. No, not, no, I don't think so. I mean, I, I think just to play the later games of Bad Night. I mean, yeah. honestly, it just I think it's probably a, a game that got better and better. It's, it's important to remember when these games came out, there was like no other option. Sure. Do you know? Or they were much, much worse, yeah, right? Yeah. So, I mean, it really was like a... You just valued it because it's all you got. And it's, it existed. I mean, it, it's it's a great example of like the Batman movies. Is like I remember thinking like uh, things would never get better than sure. Keaton's Batman, and then how could they? Yeah, and then you. I'm a I'm a hardcore Nolan Batman guy, so it's like I don't even want to watch it anymore. You know the the Keaton, you mean, even yeah, though yeah. I know it's not terrible. No, so, no. But I I just think. Things have moved it's no along joy shoes and Batman, but you know. Yeah. It's no what? It's no joy shoes, shoes Batman. What's that? Joel Schumacher. Oh, Joe. Yeah, oh, Joe Schumacher. We call him, we call we call him Joey, Joey, I didn't Joey know him Shoes. that good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, not <laughs> many people do. I think I blocked a lot of... <laughs> do you know, I have something to say about that Batman, though, because, I mean, I was such a... I was a comic book nerd, even though I didn't know it yet, because you couldn't buy comic books where I was from, you know? It's like... I went, a lot. <laughs> I, I went with my mom to see it, like I was still a kid, and I remember almost immediately thinking, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> like, it, it, it was so bad that it was like... Uh, it's not like even a kid could be like, yeah, but I really liked it. Uh, immediately, it was like, are they on ice skates? And that's the first <laughs> thing you said. <laughs> it's a problem, you know? <laughs> there was... I didn't mention this when we talked about Batman forever, but Joel Schumacher, there was some kind of weird connection where the place I worked in Lexington, someone like swore that they had some like two degrees of separation to Joel Schumacher. So like anytime where I worked, they had a lot of fucking like events and shit. It was the worst. Cause it's like, mm. we're going to have an open house. Everyone's going to look at our plates and it's like, <laughs> great. And then every, inevitably it was like every year, the open house, there was a rumor where it's like, she's going to get Joel Schumacher to show up. <laughs> and everyone, and nobody can sell a plate like Joel <laughs> Schumacher. <laughs> Joey shoes. Oh, yeah. Plate salesman. Extraordinaire. I've got one achievement. What you got? Uh, I've got uh, I've got that boom boom pow. Boom boom pow. That's a little black eyed peas. So you play as a team <laughs> that only has two famous players and the rest no one knows. <laughs> and you hear John Madden say boom nice. twenty times. Nice. Uh, I have several achievements that came in from Twitch chat. I usually try to keep these like really light, but holy shit, there were a lot of them and they were really good. Um, first achievement I got comes in from. Um, Paul Korn, Rhythm Master Paul Korn, and it is uh, an audio meme. Uh, imagine Perfect. a grizzle, a grizzly bearded Robin Williams, sc- like happily screaming, kind of. No. <laughs> uh, what year is it? Mm-hmm. In order to unlock, what year is it? Forget what year edition of Madden you are playing because <laughs> these games are all the same. <laughs> <laughs> I will say that playing I played Madden games for five fucking hours with very like one one pee break. I honestly did feel like I was kind of brainwashed by the end of it. You know what I mean? Where it's just <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. what the fuck just happened to me, man? Yeah. <laughs> Which I think is again something that like uh I like to get into, and, and being a former competitive person, I think that's a little bit of what it is. There's a drive to like towards perfection yeah. kind of thing, of just doing it over and over until it's right. Well, of, what was know. weird to me is like playing them back to back to back to back is like they are all very, very similar, yeah, but yeah. the changes are so minute <laughs> that it's almost like... Mega T, Mega Tor, <laughs> Mega Tome. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, next achievement I've got comes in from Edgelord Kyle, and it is um, hashtag fuck you, Chris Collinsworth. Mm. In order to unlock hashtag fuck you, Chris Collinsworth, choose Tadpog Church over Sunday night football when the NFL season resumes. Also, fuck you, Chris Collinsworth, for being a horrible replacement for John Madden. Fuck you, Chris Collinsworth. I included that achievement because I wanted to ask you, Dennis, 
Who is Chris Collinsworth? And why would we fuck him? <laughs> Chris Collinsworth was a receiver on for the Cincinnati Bengals when Boomer Esiason was there. Okay, Boomer. And <laughs> uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Fucking Boomer Esiason. You want to know a really bad announcer? Boomer Esiason and Phil Sims, those are bad announcers. Chris Collinsworth is just one of those people that's in the mainstream and he catches a lot of shit. There's definitely times he doesn't do great. There's a lot fucking worse out there than Chris Does he Collins. say boom and pal? It, he's like no, he does more of like that whole thing of, oh, I talked to this guy that I know is uh, you know, more of that stuff. Uh, he should do the Bob Saget, like America's Funniest Home Videos <laughs> oh, thing, no, where they do his funny voices him. while they're doing the play. Like, <laughs> oh, I'm going to throw the ball. No, I'm not going to run it. You can't I catch mean, me. I'm, oh, no. Right. I think we tried the Dennis Miller experiment. That didn't work. <laughs> yeah. you know, so Man, I forgot about that. Yeah, I didn't that- know. Almost like super, like I was excited about that. Uh, I was. And then, yeah, anyway, didn't get me into football. (laughs) Uh, Next achievement. Also, I want to point out that Kyle also had achievement that involved me blowing a 25 point lead uh, with three minutes remaining. And uh, I remember seeing that. I believe it was Madden 97. Uh, And it's because you're like, what the fuck? Yeah, like there was an interception like at the third yard line, and then they ran it back, and yeah. then yeah, it all fucking fell to shit. And those games, uh, I mean, especially as they got later, I think that stuff started to show up more and yeah. made it more enjoyable. To, it's to exciting, play, you yeah. know. I mean, and I can say that's almost what every two player game is. I spent so much of the early years of these this franchise playing it with Tony. Yeah. And there's, it was just always, it seemed like always him winning at the last minute and me like, you know, fake beating him up kind of thing. Yeah. You know, where we're like, but still genuinely angry. Sure. Just yeah. like a, <laughs> sure. But still, I do not like my friend Tony. <laughs> so, but, you know, there was just like, a, and that made it a lot of fun because it was, you know, com- it was just competition yeah. kind of thing. You know? Did you guys ever play on the same team? Because that's something that they added in later matches. Yeah, games. we did. You st- I mean, because we did have a lot of games, and we and I probably made this worse. I only liked very few. And like, uh, so at some point, it was like, here, try it like this. You know, as, sure, yeah, as an and, option. And and I, I mean, it worked well for us because I liked being the blocker, and he would run, and you know, it worked out. Cool. You know? I, see, I didn't get to try that, so I'm glad that. But but it it's fun. definitely a whole new kind of game. It's more like it becomes more in a weird way a one player game in the sense that you're very excited about what you're what doing, you're doing yeah. as opposed to the team. Sure, Do you know what I mean. Uh, next achievement I got comes in from executive producer Dick Dougie, and that is Hell Freezes Over. In order to unlock Hell Freezes Over, win the Super Bowl in any Madden game with the Detroit Football Lions. Seriously. They last won before my dad was born, before Super Bowls were a thing. Well, I've won the Super Bowl in Madden games in 1990s with Chicago Bears. Because that's a thing about me, too, is I don't, I've don't. i never played with another team on Madden. Just the Bears. Just the Bears. Not even the all Madden. No, I don't. Yeah. It seems, I mean, why would I want to? Sure. <laughs> I'm just a, that big of a Bears fan. Of a Bears fan. fan. And I won. I got good enough that I at least... That that sounds like a brag. It's not. It's like I was playing it at a high enough level that I was winning with bad teams. You sure. Because yeah. in the 90s, the Bears, I mean, that was that period where they went through like 20 quarterbacks in like 10 years. I got gotcha. you. To where like now, it's like the running thing. They show it every fucking Sunday of this is a list of the Bears quarterbacks. Uh-huh. This is the list of this one guy that's playing. <laughs> He's been there 12 years. You've had 36 players. You know, it's, yeah, I know. You'll I know. get this reference, I'm sure. So what you're saying is that playing the Madden games as the Chicago Bears was a lot like doing a run of Final Fantasy One with four thieves. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. I, I have yep. no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, no, it's accurate. <laughs> Making that accurate. It takes a high, it's, like it's a high level of uh, of expertise to pull off. I don't even know if you can do it. If you do it for – well, yeah. Mm. As Al Knopp would know. Um Next achievement. You have to be able. It's like chewing and spitting down a straw. You ever seen that in the South? Mm, I've I've chewed on a straw before, but spitting down it. No, chewing. I mean, like tobacco. Oh, tobacco. Uh, Your daddy's and chaw. spitting it down the straw. Uh, yeah. Because yeah. I, I mean, that's. I know almost all my friends who chew, which is almost all of them back home. It's like a gross. They can <laughs> spit down a straw, a McDonald's yeah. straw. You know, what the, what's which what? if you try that right now, it would be fucking awful. Uh, yeah, uh, no, I bet because for multiple different reasons. But yeah. like 
Do you think like this is the only region of the country where like people are leery of open soda cans and drink? You know what I mean? I would think there's other parts of the South. Uh, I mean, surely the Carolinas have a lot of tobacco. Right? But what's the cutoff? I guess is the real question. Like, what state is like north of this state? Don't worry about open open cans. There's probably not chewing tobacco. In you there. know, I, I mean, it's a lot. I think that line is lowering, but it used yeah. to be probably the middle of Illinois. Okay. <laughs> like, yeah, it's, it was in Southern Illinois. Yeah, I know that. Sure. Yeah. There's someone uh, I work with who chews, and that is why I, I never, like, trust anything that, mm. like, might hold chewing tobacco. I've anything. been on the bad end of that because all my uncles chewed. Yeah. And, and like, I've p- been at a wedding and thought I picked up my soda can. Oh, and it was you sh- my uncle's spit, which is lovely. Yeah. Just by itself, let alone the fact that it's tobacco-laced, <laughs> you know? <laughs> my uncle's spit is the weirdest book I ever read. Yeah. <laughs> I did that once. Melissa never did chew, but when she used to smoke, she just... Dispose of everything in a Diet Coke can. I remember sure. I was thirsty and I was like, I picked it up and took a swig out of her sure. Diet Coke cigarette can and was immediately just like, oh, God. The, sure. the worst I ever did it was I once grabbed a drink and I was just getting done fishing with my buddy in like a country hole. You know, we we're mm-hmm. in the middle of nowhere. And I grabbed it, took a drink, and simultaneously as I drank, I punched him in the face. <laughs> I just, and it wasn't like hard. It wasn't like, I'm going to beat you up. It yeah. was just like the reaction of, you son of a bitch, yeah. I can't believe you did this to me, and clocked him right in the chin. You know? <laughs> Next achievement I've got comes from Nick P 7186 and it is, I don't want your life. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> in order to unlock, I don't want your life. You need to have the randomizer choose the SNES Madden games. <laughs> Next achievement comes from Sandwich Pope Phil. Everyone is John. In order to unlock Everyone is John, which is a tabletop role-playing game that we that we did an actual play uh-huh. of on the show, you need to choose to play as the all Madden team. Because the running joke when I was playing was that they're either all John Madden because what they actually are are just like the best players yeah, statistically, yeah. I guess. But they're all either John Madden or they're all like John Madden's family, like his extended family, like Joe Madden. Mortimer Madden. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) The Koopa Kids, but they're Maddens. Ray Madden. Iggy Madden. Iggy Madden. (laughs) Wendy Madden. I think he probably has a George Foreman thing Wendy O. Madden. They just named him all John anyway, you know. (laughs) Little John, Little John, Little John, Little John. John. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Next achievement I've got comes in from Dr. Drunk. Personal foul, hands to the face. In order to unlock personal foul, hands to the face, wipe a booger on your friend's face to make him miss a field goal. (laughs) (laughs) I did that with Metroid. (laughs) Yes, I think think that is the reference. They have field goals in Metroid? (laughs) (laughs) If you try hard enough. (laughs) And that's it. That's all the achievements I got. Oh, yeah. Uh, I have some questions for you guys, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. if you'd like. Mm -hmm. Um, I am curious. Normally what we'll do on the show is I will ask how much this game is on average. I still want to do that, but there's a little bit of a spin on it. And that spin is what I've done is I've taken the price of all the Madden games for the Super Nintendo, averaged them, and what I want to know is what what is that dollar amount? If you were to, if on average, what do you think the, the average average is for a dollar sixty four? A dollar sixty four. It's pretty low. Yep. Okay, Dennis. What do you think? I would say like five ninety nine. Five ninety nine. Yeah. Also pretty low. Average retail value of all of the Madden games averaged on PriceCharting dot com loose for the Super Nintendo at the time of this recording is. Four dollars and thirty-five cents. So you guys are pretty good. Mm-hmm. Pretty good at this game. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to guess which out of those is the most expensive? Because one of there is a spike that that raised that average. Probably the stuff that came later, like ninety-eight. It is nine. It is ninety-eight. Yeah. Uh, ninety-eight averages loose for eight dollars and nineteen cents. Mm-hmm. Uh, the the least expensive being ninety three. Uh, ninety three is important to point out because man, I wish I'd remember the to mention this earlier. Ninety three has injuries in it, yeah, so like yeah, the yeah. players can get injured, and when they get injured, an ambulance drives onto the field yeah. and knocks players over. 
<laughs> to get to the injured player. And they all make the the you know the sound of the game where like oh, the, oh, 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 oh. Yeah. it's just like a dozen of those. Oh, 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 as an ambulance just slowly just like pushes all of them out of the way. I I remember that, yeah. Uh, so unfortunately they get rid of that in like the later games. Uh-huh. But like I do like that. I like that charm. Uh I have uh, some questions, mm-hmm. Tyler, specifically mm-hmm. for mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you were to give this game mm-hmm. a beard that sums up how you feel about it, or these games, I'm sorry, a beard, what kind of beard would it be? What are sweatpants if not the lazy, unshaven beard of of clothing? Okay. So I would give this the sweatpants beard of Plaxico Burris. Plaxico Burris. Uh huh. Who is Plaxico Burris? Is that a real name or a Plexico, company? Plexico. Plexico. It's even more ridiculous. Plexico. Plexico. It sounds like a game on the Price is Right. <laughs> hey man, you want to play Plexico Burris and go to the show? So I Who believe he went to the club with a gun and a pair of sweatpants. Oh, that oh, guy. And he shot himself. That guy. Okay. It's so hard to keep track of like the stupid shit that some of these players have done just i mean i was watching the nfl draft which is something i don't usually do too much cuz it's like boring as shit <laughs> honestly it's just people picking but i'm so like without sports that yeah. i just really enjoyed it and as they they go through and each team picks they'll start like talking about the player and it's like he dropped a little bit and this is for real what i heard in about the 5th round uh he dropped further than he should have because of uh, he had robbed two of his girlfriends of their purses. <laughs> he had stole two purses from two different, maybe the same girlfriend. They didn't even go into it. You know I mean? and, I, and it was like, man, I cannot believe, like, in the later rounds, like, the crime seemed to get less. Yeah. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Because you're not even just stealing just a purse. You're doing it from <laughs> someone you know. God, Do I you hope know it was the same girlfriend. Me too. Should have learned her lesson the first time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> George W. taught us that, you know. <laughs> Steal full, my purse once. once uh, full on me, yeah. <laughs> A stolen purse can't be stolen again. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Tyler. Yes, Dave. If you were to give this game a pair of glasses, mm-hmm. that sums up how you feel about these games. Sorry, you know, I'm in a mm-hmm. routine. What kind of glasses would they be? Uh, probably, I'm just going to imagine that that Burfecht wears glasses. So it, <laughs> Okay. It's, it's ber- perfect glasses. Perfect, perfect twenty twenty vision. Boxy, Mad Boxy, <laughs> perfect, <laughs> whatever his name was. All right, excellent. I have more questions. Mm-hmm. Uh, would you like to eat some of that? Would you like to? What, we got a package that we meant to do. Oh, you want to do that or save that for later? We'll save that for later. All right, okay. Uh, we have a quiz that came in. Hell yeah! From our very own. Sandwich Pope Phil. Oh, and I want right. to and I want to do this one first because I know for a fact that this one is Madden related, mm. and it is because the title of the quiz is Maddenism Quiz. Phil says, "Hey guys, I know the randomizer kind of screwed you this week, so I wanted to give you a fun interlude to break up the monotony. Something that's slowly getting lost to video game history was how big of a deal it was when sports games were able to modulate the voices of play-by-play announcers. John Madden was an easy choice to be the voice of 16-bit football because he was the biggest announcing name in the NFL at the time. He was knowledgeable and charming, folksy and prone to rambling if left unchecked by his partner, Pat Summerall, who was the perfect monotone foil to Madden's entertaining color commentary. He was the origin of cliché announcing jokes like, you have to score points if you want to win the game. As such, there is a laundry list of famous Maddenism quotes littering littering the internet, many of which are so dumbfounding it's tough to believe they were actually spoken. (laughs) I have compiled a list of John Madden quotes, but I have sprinkled in a few made-up ones as well. Your job is to guess which quote is a genuine Maddenism and which ones are fake. It's pretty good. It's yeah. pretty good. This stemmed from a Discord chat where we were saying there should be a quiz, Maddenism or name of a manga. Uh, <laughs> and then that slowly evolved into Maddenism or something that Luther Van Dam on Coach said. <laughs> and then now we're here where it's just like this is a much – this is a, a much easier and harder quiz to do. Are you ready to begin? Yes. All right. Here we go. First question. First Maddenism. Does anyone have a good John Madden? Can anyone? 
Does anyone want to do I this? I don't even know what he sounds like. Uh, it's just like a mumbly kind of. Uh, it's. I, what would he say? Let me think. It's a. Uh, Here's a guy who you know. Oh, you gotta score more points to win. You know. It's would you a, like to read these? No, I can't do it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Because that was pretty good. That's better than I'm gonna do. All right. Here's a guy who. You know, he's a guy that can really, I mean, wow, just, that's a heck of a guy. Is that a, ma- is that a real or fake? That sounds like a Christopher Walken quote. That seems real. Seems real? Tyler, think it's fake? I have no frame of reference, but it sounds like a Christopher Walken quote to me. Uh, no, it definitely seems real to me. I've watched a lot of John Madden. Logo, I don't know. I have no idea. It might have been the way that I read it. Now, maybe I put too long of a pause before wow, because I feel like that's a Christopher Walken thing. Yeah. I mean, wow, that's a Christopher Walken thing, right? He does mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. We'll go real? I doubt Phil's going to start with a fake one, so yeah, we can go real. All right. Uh, that is fake. Uh, okay. <laughs> that well, is fake. He, he really has his voice down. Yeah. No, Phil that wrote that very well. So now we know that's, the bo- that's like the level of Phil's writing capability. Yeah. All right, next question. See, well, you see, the thing is you should have caught that ball, but the ball is bigger than his hands. Uh, it was that's you did that a little like Bill Cosby. Someone Sorry, said, I'm like I, I, asked, I like that. I, like I asked it. if you guys wanted to read them instead. I'm fucking trying here. I, I, I'm no, I want you to do each one of the different celebrities. See if I can guess which one it is. <laughs> yeah, all right, perfect. <laughs> what do you guys think, real or fake? I mean, is that real? That probably it sounds, sounds real like to him. me. But so did the other ones. So I think it's real because I know that it's real. Because it was mentioned in Discord. That's why I wanted to get your guys' answers first. Yeah, it seemed real. Real. Logging it in. It is, in fact, real. (laughs) Uh, Next question. I can't think of it. I'm just going to try. I'm just going to hone my Madden, okay? The defense should be expecting a run or a pass here. That has to be real, real, right? Real? Yeah, you would think. It has to be real. All right, real. It is real. Next one. When I was coaching... Offensive linemen had a lot of meat on their bones, but there were nothing like today's players. There's a lot more meat on the field these days. I mean, I hope it's real. I hope it's real too, fun. but that it's I mean, the thing with Madden <laughs> is it's super possible. It could go he, way. He's like a he's like uh Harry Carey yeah. not drunk. I'm glad yeah. that you're okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Like Harry Carey is John Madden, only he's also drunk. Gotcha. Do you know? Let's say real then. All right, real? Because I, I want to be real. If I can imagine Harry Carey saying it, then yeah, real. Right, real. Logging it in. That's a better frame of reference for me. It is fake, ah, unfortunately. Fuck. Next question. Here's a guy who can use his arms and legs at the same time. That the, has to be real, right? That the, here's a guy <laughs> yeah. is really a Madden trope. Sure. I mean, that's something he says a lot. Here's a guy. But, here's this, a guy. but is Phil using that I know, against that's us, the right? Thing, yeah. What do you think? I think it's real. Real. Yep. All right, real. Logging it in. It is, in fact, real. Next one. Football is a game where you either throw the ball or you run the ball. It's really that simple. Real, I'm saying. It, se- it seems too obvious to yeah. me. Yeah. So fake, fake you think? Fake, All right, yeah. fake. fake. We're going fake. It is fake. Well done, y'all. Next question. You got one guy going boom, one guy going whack, and one guy not getting in the end zone. That's 100% real. That's I almost 100%. think I can hear it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Boom. Well, whack. All right. Boom. We good with it? Yeah, yeah, All right. Real. Like, it is, in fact, real. Well done, Dennis. Next one. Well, when you're playing good football, it's good football. And if you don't have good football, then you're not really playing good football. That also seems real. It does. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say real. Real? Okay. You good with that, Tyler? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Real. It is real. Excellent. All right. Next one. William Perry. I once saw him. You take a big guy like that, you put him against those other big guys, and you can just tell he sleeps on a big old bed at night. <laughs> <laughs> that's fake, that, right? That has to be, right? Uh, that's real. He's talking about yes? the fridge. William Refrigerator Perry he is a huge guy. I know so, he's big, but yeah. like, do you, Madden really said that, you think? Yeah, probably. Okay. <laughs> I mean, Harry Carey used to always talk he probably about... sleeps on a big bed. Big old bed. <laughs> he used to say stuff like, uh, what do you think his name... How do you pronounce his names backwards? Really? <laughs> so, I mean, these uh, guys are really non sequitur. That's some, like yeah. D&D level shit. Yeah. I like that. Like it's giving out riddles. They're collectible <laughs> yeah. tomorrow. Love yeah. it. All right. All right. I'm down to do real. Real? Real. Right. I'm real. 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 It is, unfortunately, it is fake. Next question. He would have scored a touchdown if he hadn't been tackled right there. <laughs> that's got to be real, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> 
I would say that. <laughs> okay, real. It is real. Mm. Next one. When you're a quarterback, the way you fight a guy is you throw the ball at them. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That seems fake to me, but it, I don't uh, know. It seems not like he didn't go into it enough to yeah, be mad. And he sure. would have said more. Okay. Are we good with fake? Fake. All right. Fake. It is real. <laughs> John Madden really said that. Next one. You have to unload on Peyton because you know he's going to unload on you. Now, he's just going to unload with that right arm, so Johnson has to get his load ready to go. Load to load. And the fans boo when you do that. I think that's fake. Yeah. I wish it was. I really want it to, to be real. Fake. It's fake. be nice, but right, fake. fake. It is real. Holy yeah. shit. <laughs> that is a real thing. All right. Next. I've always noticed when a guy gets his weight down, he starts wearing a lot of T-shirts. <laughs> 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 All right. I can imagine that's Harry Carey saying that's, it. That's, so that's real. true. That's true. What do you think? A guy does that. Yeah, all right. Real. All yeah. right. It is, in fact, real. <laughs> <laughs> beow, 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 beow. All right. Next one. He got that name Biscuit when he first came in. Dan Hampton watched him get on the scale and said, that guy's a biscuit away from 350. It seems real. It does seem, real. I can say real, right? All right. All right, and real. And it could be Dan Hampton talking about Refrigerator Perry. Okay. Like both Bears players. It is, in fact, real. Well done. Next one. When you're the big old big cat, you got all this stuff going. You go, wow, 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 wow. That's more than encroachment. Is encroachment a Madden word? Uh, no, encroachment is a, a penalty. Oh, okay. Uh, it's okay. like defense. Is it when you wipe a booger on another player's helmet? Yes, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. it, it, it's making them jump off sides. Oh, okay. What was the rest of the saying? When you're the big old big cat, you got all this stuff See, going. There was a big cat Williams that played for the okay. Bears and maybe the Saints too, so it's possible. You want to go real then? I want, it real. To, I want it to be real. All right. Tyler, you good real? real? All right. It is, in fact, real. Mm. Well done. Next one. When you sweat, you can really see it on the uniforms. And some of these guys, these big guys, they have a lot of surface area. Lots of (laughs) nooks and crevices. And that means a lot more sweat. And that makes them slick. I think that that sounds like Phil to me. That sounds like Phil to me, too. That sounds like crevices. Crevices and nooks. (laughs) Nooks and crevices. That sounds like Phil to me. Uh, Old nooks and crevices, Phil. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Old frog and toad nooks and crevices, (laughs) Phil. (laughs) Uh, I think you might be right, but I definitely can see it being Madden still. All right. Yeah. Surface area nooks. Nah. Cred- yeah. I'm going fake. 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 Yeah. All right. Fake. fake. It is, in fact, fake. Mm-hmm. All right. Excellent. Next. You're too smart, Phil. <laughs> yes. Next. Linebackers. You know, they're all half goofy. You know, they got their eyes, you know, staring and looking and crossed. That's probably real. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. Real. All right. Real. Like it did. It is real. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. When he's in there, this one kind of defends. And when he's in there, not in there, it's not as good. I mean, it's not the same defense. <laughs> what? <laughs> that has to be real because it makes fucking no sense. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely. I'm liking real oh, there. Real? We go with that. It is real. <laughs> Let me read that. When he's in there, this is one kind of defense. And when he's in there, not in there, it's not as good. I mean, it's not the same defense. <laughs> <laughs> a full man can't be fooled again. <laughs> Next one. And the last one. Some days you can really tell which team wants to eat first at the buffet. And today is one of those days. That's that real, That seems right? real. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, that's Phil's pretty good. good I writer, like that. So, yeah. Real? All right. Real. Locking it in. It is fake. Yeah. Oh. You got yeah. us. All right, Phil. You got us. We done got got. That is the end of Phil's quiz. All right. Phil, that was excellent. That was very good. That was excellent. Sandwich be with you. (laughs) And also with you. Uh, I have another quiz that's coming in from one quiz master, Bovine Bear Matt, entitled Shit That John Madden Said. (laughs) So maybe Phil's is a nice little uh, (laughs) warm-up to this. Maybe some of them are on here. Uh, Matt says 10 quotes from John Madden that you must fill in the missing words for. Oh, no. <laughs> Boom. It's a fill in the blank. Boom. All right. First one. Usually the team with the most blank wins the game. I know this one. It's points. Points, right? Yeah. Players. Players. <laughs> they have 12. <laughs> All right. Points. I'm logging it in. 
It is, in fact, points. Yes. Next. Here's a guy who, when he runs, he moves blank. Fast. His legs? <laughs> moves his legs. <laughs> uh, I Th- bet it's Through legs. space time. <laughs> uh, it is faster. Oh, wow. When he runs, he moves faster. <laughs> Next. The best feeling is watching a real football game because the games they show in the movies aren't blank. Real? real? <laughs> All right. It is real. Excellent. Next. If the quarterback throws the ball in the blank and the wide receiver catches it, it's a touchdown. Air. Air. In the air. And he throws it in zone, maybe? Probably in zone. In yeah. zone? Yeah, in, in zone. zone. In zone. Yeah. All right. Next. In order for this team to win the game, the blank has to throw the ball. Quarterback? I would guess. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Other players? It is quarterback. <laughs> Next, I don't think Matt expected us to have Venus here. (laughs) Whenever you talk about a Mike Shanahan offense, you're always going to be talking about his blank. Sax? Shillelagh. Shillelagh. Dennis, I think we're going to have to Mike Shannon has usually got a really good run offense. uh... You always have to talk about, whenever you talk about his offense, you're always going to be talking about his running? His line? Line? All right, we'll go with line. Offense. Oh, it was offense? It was offense. Oh, wow. Whenever you talk about his offense, you're always going to be talking about his (laughs) offense. The the thing about guessing a a John Madden quote is it almost makes it worse if you get it right. Yeah. You know what I mean? (laughs) Well, it's also like, is this one going to make sense or not? I mean, if you could just nail these and be like, yeah, because it makes sense, you're probably having a stroke. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Next question. To get more blank, it's best to move the ball from the line of scrimmage down the field. Touchdowns? To get more touchdowns, it's best. I, touchdowns or points, points or yards, maybe. Maybe yards. Yeah. Points, touchdowns, one of the three. It is yards. Yards. All right. Well done, Dennis. Next. When you have great players playing great, well, that's blank football. Great. Great, great. football? Yeah. All right. It's poetic. I think we're starting to yes. figure them out a little great. bit. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> We've cracked the code. Yeah. He's like Nelly rhyming the N word with the N word. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I God bless Nelly as someone from St. Louis, but I mean, come on. <laughs> Did Nelly have more than two songs? Yeah, I think okay, so. Okay, all he right. He had more than two. He had a few. He was on the cover of Madden, and it really his <laughs> career really kind of tanked after that. <laughs> See, I thought it was Cisco who was on the cover of Madden. He just had the thong song. Yeah, that was it. yeah. <laughs> Next question. When your blank gets hit, the ball is not going to go where you want it to. Ball? ball? <laughs> when your ball gets hit, the ball's not going to get... Yeah, All I right. bet it is. Ball, so it is arm. 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 <laughs> Next one and last. Boom, boom, foom, blank. He just ran right at him. Zoom. Zoom? All right. You seem very confident, so we'll go with that. It is it is poom. Oh, well. Poom. <laughs> <laughs> I had three of the letters. <laughs> as, as in... Let me get out some of that poom tang. (laughs) Got that boom, boom, poom. (laughs) Shit, the joplin's my mom. Boom, boom, poom. It sounds like he named the, like, American gladiators. You know, blazer, laser. (laughs) Boom, (laughs) poom. (laughs) Doom. Soom. Akuma. (laughs) Diamond. Hakuna Matata. I have one more quiz. Would you like to take this quiz? Yeah, let's do it. I have a quiz that's coming in from Ross Rachel Green. I love all these fucking quizzes. I yeah, love dude. all these yeah, fucking dude. quizzes. Prime Inquisitor Ross Rachel Green has a quiz entitled, It's Time to Toss. The Old Pigskin. From all your non-UK listeners, hi, Paul, to toss is the masturbate for men. <laughs> Women don't toss, they strum. Probably not one for Anna's slang list. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's the same in the U.S., who knows? It's not. I've never heard of strum, but I like it. It sounds like yeah. real life. Better than schlick. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's different than schlick. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I'd say it's better. <laughs> it's, you're right. It's a different word, <laughs> yeah. Tyler. Yeah. Right. Schlick is the sound that Wolverine's I, bone claws make when they come out of his hands. So I kind of <laughs> like that one. I kind of legit like tosser. You know, like tosser. You know, someone's a tosser. Or a jack like a wanker kind of deal. Yeah, like yeah. a jack off. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I watched enough BBC to pick a to, little yeah. bit of what he's picking, throwing down. I'm basically British myself. You're pretty I'm watching much enough British. BBC to be able to identify a dick. Pretty much. Yeah. Ross continues, so it has occurred to me that I have used most of the games on the backlog, if not all of them, and some more than once. 
So I am now going to make quizzes based on the entire NTSC Super Nintendo library. Oof. So I will have more games of a theme to pick. As I am moving away from episode numbers, I will be using release years, but they will still be chronologically oldest to newest. So boom, that's nice. We're boom, getting boom, kind boom. of a hint. Yeah. To start off our new exciting quiz standard, here's something about boring football games. I am sorry. This is going to be as much fun as DIY cock piercing or bell end piercing, right? All hail the randomizer. Is that why <laughs> bells are worth so much money? <laughs> <laughs> They're all they, now I get yes. it. I'm getting this. Yeah. Uh, hold on. I got to go download something. <laughs> <laughs> Animal Crossing's a sex game. Did I forget to mention that? <laughs> I, I think I would like Animal Crossing more if it was about a pimp. Do you know if it was like a pimp selling whores? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I basically want like a... I, I don't mind a chore, but I want it to be like something that... Oh, I'm, I'm never going to do this. I, might <laughs> oh. I want it to be like a donkey show in Mexico. We call it Animal <laughs> yeah. Crossing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like Drug Wars for the TI-83. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All right, are you guys ready to begin? Yeah. First question. This game is football in name only and features two athletes in hover cars. Oh my god. Is that head that's not head to head football, is it? Or like robot is there like mut I'm, mutant I'm, league football? A mu mutant league that's had more hover. than one player and stuff too. Yeah. It wasn't just two uh, hover cars. I have no I idea. Have no idea. All right. Uh gonna lock in Robot robot football. Robot football. <laughs> It is 1992, Space Football, one-on-one. -on -one. I did not know that one. Never yeah. heard of that. We're pretty close to Robot Football. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> next question. Uh, this game is the next-gen sequel to the NES game, Play Action Football. I believe it's Super Play Action Football. <laughs> that makes sense. I think it is, and I think that is the Nintendo developed football game. It's not Super Secret Play Action Football. Super Secret Play <laughs> Action Football. <laughs> Uh, and I thought that came out before 1992, but 1993. We'll say 1993, Super Play Action Football. It is 1992, Super Play Action Football. Take it. Good job. We'll get to that one, but that one has a weird, like, they take the field and turn it 45 degrees. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you play on a weird angle, and it looks super not fun. Mm -hmm. uh, next question. This game is an arcade-style game whose referee often stops paying attention for you to foul the opponent, consequence-free. It also has a much better Japanese title of Hat Trick Hero. A hat trick is hockey. Uh, so I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea either. Buster Bust Loose, the football level. They're Locking perfect. them in. It is... 1992 Super Soccer Champ. I thought these were all a hand egg. Okay. I thought they were football games. Yeah. Well, I guess soccer, <laughs> football. football. No, like real football. Uh, right, I get yeah. it. Yeah, I know what you none mean. Of this, God's football. No, none, yeah. of, none of this pussy <laughs> I don't want your football. life. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Next question. This game is named after a televised sports show, but did not have a license for team names. That has to be ESPN football, right? Or ABC Monday Night oh, Football. Oh, Monday Night Football. Yeah, that's probably, yeah. that is probably it. Yeah. All right, let's go with that. What year do you think that was? 94? 94. 90, okay. It is 93, ABC Monday Night Football. Mm. Good pull, man. Next question. This game sounds like it should be played by robot children and zombie killers, but it is actually just another, another football sim. I have no idea. I don't know either. Should be played by robot children and zombie killers. Mutant, mutant league football? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. All right. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it is, in fact, 1993 Capcom's MVP football. Hmm. Uh, next question. This game sounds like it should be a fun arcade-style football game with a word in the title meaning extreme strength or violence, but yet again is a sports sim. Bill Lambeer's combat football? <laughs> <laughs> Extreme strength or violence. Extreme strength or violence. Assault? Maybe. Assault? assault? Yeah. It's like air assault um, or something, maybe? I don't know. Air I assault? Assault's pretty good. All right, locking it in. It is, in fact, 1993's Football Fury. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I never would have gotten that, ever. Okay, next. This game is a combination of two very American sports and sounds like the game should be played by attractive ladies wearing next to nothing. 
something wrestling, football wrestling league or Sunday night slam. I don't know. Saturday night slam masters. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I have no idea. Yeah, X- XFL the game. XFL the game. <laughs> Logging it in. It is in fact 1994's Sports Illustrated Championship uh, Football and uh, Baseball. Yeah, didn't know that was <laughs> oh, the thing. Boy, I bet that's gonna be a fun one. Uh, we get to that one. Uh, next question. This game is named after the former number eight quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys from 1989 to 2000. Troy Aikman's. Quarterback. The Troy Aikmans. Yeah. Didn't Emmett Smith have a football game on the? Yeah, but he What's wasn't his? number eight. He was okay. Number All eight right, so Troy Aikman. Troy, Aikman, yeah. Troy Aikman's football. Mm-hmm. Logging it in. It is 1994's Troy Aikman NFL football. Well done. Perfect. Uh, next question. This game sounds like it should star the scientist from Back to the Future. Unfortunately, it does not. Christopher Lloyd's NFL football. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Where we're going, we, we don't, don't need. need yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where we're going, we don't need yards. Uh, Where we're ultimate, running, ultimate Brown uh, football. Ultimate Brown football. Uh, I mean, to bring up John Mulaney again, because that's my job. Sure. Is like he has a whole bit about like what kind of relationship was this between either. A, I've heard that one. A yeah. Really old man, yeah. or he's either sixty or nineteen. Right. You know, so, sure. Yeah. You know, so I mean. I, I think it would just be inappropriate football. Inappropriate football. Inappropriate football. Is this is this man a pedophile football? Yeah. Or just his uncle football? Pedophile yeah. ball. <laughs> pedophile In ball. what way does he love him football? Yeah. <laughs> Questionable relationships football. <laughs> this was, in fact, Emmett <laughs> Smith football. <laughs> <laughs> Emmett Brown. Ah, uh, damn. Um, uh, ne- so will Marty fuck his mom football? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Emmett Smith is disappearing from this photograph football. Le- Le- Leah Thompson's boob job football. <laughs> Your kids will thank me later football. <laughs> Next question. This game has students playing to get to the Big Easy. There was like a playground, NFL playgrounds or something. Big Johnson's co-ed football. Big Johnson's co-ed football <laughs> yeah. playgrounds edition, locking it in. This it is, is also the Lloyd's football. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is, in fact, 1996's College Football USA 97, oh. colon, the road to New Orleans. <laughs> that sounds like a Leisure Suit Larry football game. That's a long title, that's for sure. It is very long. <laughs> Thanks, thank you for noticing. <laughs> That's it. That's all the quizzes I got, believe it or not. Man, that was a football marathon. Mm. It was. It was great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right now when there is none, you know. I thank mean, you, I'm just you, a Ross. step away from turning it on and watching it, like, simulate. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you, Ross. The, and thank you, Matt. And thank you, Phil. Mm-hmm. Those are wonderful. Thank you. Sorry your football, you can't use your hands, man. That's a bummer. For Ross, I, yeah, yeah. I, you know, for a while, maybe, maybe one day your country will develop and you can use your hands. You know? <laughs> You'll take off your damn red coats and yeah. throw a goddamn football. <laughs> yeah. For a while, British people didn't have hands. I don't know if you guys knew that or not. They just had flippers. Yeah. All the original Tories did not have hands. They didn't You're have right. them. Yeah. You couldn't be in the party unless you had no hands. Boris Johnson actually doesn't have hands None. still. They were hands were offensive. Everyone, yeah, I mean, that seems something that could be British. Is like, is, you know, it's <laughs> just so offensive. offensive that like we kept our hands in our pockets for two hundred years. <laughs> <laughs> we we didn't want to seem rude. <laughs> All right, that's fair. Uh, meanwhile, the Irish did it because someone was like. Take your hands out of your pockets. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck they, you! Yeah. I mean, they were hiding booze <laughs> that they stole after a fight. <laughs> I'll take my hands out, I have to punch you in the face. <laughs> my favorite Irish joke ever is something I heard on a weekend update, but from Collins Jost, and it was like a couple or three years ago during St. Patty's Day, and it goes like this. It was... My family's Irish, and we came here because of a famine where you couldn't even afford a single potato. And now, hundreds of years later, I have literally dozens of potatoes. (laughs) (laughs) To me, that's the most Irish joke I've ever heard. At least as it affects me personally, is having Irish heritage. Yeah, that wasn't the Colin I thought you were going to reference for an SNL joke. I'm very very I do do like Colin Jost, though. I like Colin Jost, yeah. yeah. 
supposedly he used to have like really long hair when he I was I can't on. imagine that. And I saw that like Bill Hader and John Mulaney talking about him and stuff of like how they met like when they were writers and stuff and somebody flashed a picture and it was like super long hair Colin Jost. Like grunge Colin Jost. Wow. So I can't weird, even yeah. imagine that. Yeah. But it was like he was only a writer then. I yeah. guess when he went on screen things changed. Interesting. Well, I'm eager to grab that bat over there in that corner. Grab that bat. I'm gonna grab, grab that, that bat, bat, boy. How'd you know I was sitting in the corner? <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to put one in on the ground. Oh, that's a two-hander. Yeah. Oh, oh man. Oh, wow. God. Look at the fucking Louisville slugger over man, here. And the handle's still sticking out after two hands. Wow. Man. Woo. Better use a mouth. I'm going to put my head on it. <laughs> it's been around in a circle. I'll pull it my no-no hole and run in directions to the prayer we all have to say. Lay it on me. Boop. No whammies, 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 stop. 517. Football. 517 starts with an S, and it's not super. Ooh. Yeah, right? This might... Super alpha chicken. This might... Swanky taints. Swanky taints. Wow. You are fucking close as shit. Oh, really? Spanky's Quest. Swanky Tanks. Swanky Tanks. That's what I call it. You know, the best. Wait, when you play it, you'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> Swanky's Quest? Spanky's Spank- Quest. Spanky's Quest. Is it potentially a little rascals game? I don't, man. I don't know. I hope so. It's possible. Yeah. Maybe Spanky's like Fester's Quest. I hope it's Mickey Rooney's <laughs> platformer. They, they came out with like that remake of Little Rascals. Yes. So it could be. Yeah, like they did the in the 90s. Yeah, yeah oh, I remember. Oh, man. Maybe it's a Little yeah. Rascals game. I don't know. I mean, there's I nothing like so. a, a a late to mid 90s buckwheat because racism <laughs> just yeah. holds up. <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> if it's about Little Rascals, then we need to have the cape on. <laughs> and, and at the same time, man, I love buckwheat, but I mean, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. All right. So Spanky's Quest. Spanky's Quest. <laughs> uh, and since we're talking about games that we're going to do episodes Make on. Make sure your guys' taints are squeaky clean. Yeah, squeaky so clean. So swanky. <laughs> like, r- like yeah. as clean as my brother's taint. You'll understand in a little bit. Yeah, yeah. get to the stinger. Hang in there. Gonna, Hang yeah. in there. Yeah. Uh, since we're talking about games that we're going to play in the future, I got a message on Patreon. Uh, from someone asking, I cannot wait for the ten minute thing where we describe his brother's taint. You know? <laughs> <laughs> in excruciating detail. Yeah, just just every mole and hair. You know? <laughs> Man, I wonder if I have a moly taint. In that there are neither. No. <laughs> someone on Patreon asked us, Tyler, um, if we would take a bounty and uh, accept money to talk about a 1990s Sierra point and click adventure game. Called Phantasmagora, I believe it's called. Will pay, we will pay, we do that? Pay us do whatever. How so. much? He wants to know how much. How much has he got to pay us? Remember, we're setting a precedent. A, pa- a Patreon donation. He is, he is a donor. How much he would up his Patreon donation for us to do this game? We didn't talk. We didn't get the specifics of how the transaction was going to complete. If you listen to the end of this podcast, you'll find out a way that you can probably get this done. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Stick around to the very end. Well, that sounds like... Did you guys ever see that vampire movie with William Dafoe? Uh, no. no. Nosferatu? It's great. Nosferatu? No, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think that sounds like an executive producer level request. All right. It's like a $20, right. like $20 range. Yep. Yep. Okay. Sure. All right. So, sure. there, so there's the answer. Uh, I could have done it the boring way and just had a private conversation with you off of the mics and then directly messaged him, but I think this is a lot more no fun. fun. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And speaking of Patreon, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, man, boy, do we love Patreon. Uh, uh, yeah. And if you love us and you like the show, then we urge you to go to patreon.com slash tadpog uh, and kick us a few bucks. Uh, a lot of you have really stepped up recently, and it goes a fucking super long way. Uh, and I know some people have recently uh, upped their donations or have become new donors. Yeah, so I would like to thank Stephen Companion. Who? Thank you for your donation. Uh, double their donation, the Mountain Dew Baja Blast Marketing Department. How? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mitchell, thank you, thank you, Mitchell, for being a new donor. Boom! Uh, a big. <laughs> <Boom>. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> Judy Bloom. A <laughs> uh, huge increase from Jonathan Martinez. Thank you very much. Another big Zow. 
executive level uh, uh, boost from Jeffrey Cross. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Yeah, I'm out of them. Uh, a huge, <laughs> another huge increase by uh, Joseph Phillips. Nice. Damn. Thank you. That's all I got. All right. Excellent. But damn. Damn. Thank you all. It helps. It helps a lot. Well, uh, thanks for listening. Then, so you'll hear us list to play. Hear us to play the Spanky's Quest. An offense is like a. It's not an off. It's an offense. Yeah, See, you're the thing, Spanky goes the thing with a tank is you got to already have a tank to have a tank. <laughs> well, when Spanky goes on a quest, it's his quest. So it's it's a quest from Spanky. <laughs> the semen doesn't go where it needs to go if you hit the tank. <laughs> <laughs> The That's... thing with a quest is you have to quest out to quest. <laughs> <laughs> but here's what I want. I want a ROM hack of every Super Nintendo game, but it's like a digitized John Madden's voice commentating it. <laughs> <laughs> I, want, I want Eye of the Beholder, but it's all done by John <laughs> yes, Madden. That would be great. <laughs> I want Final Fantasy VI. I want to hear John Madden talk about getting General Leo back in your party. <laughs> Now, right here, he's going to do the shocker. <laughs> and when he does the shocker, it shocks the enemies <laughs> with shocking energy. <laughs> well, thanks, everybody. You can find the show on iTunes, Stitcher, YouTube, and Spotify. Fucking Spotify. And thanks for having me. It was Dude, nice thanks fun. for being Hell on, yeah. man. It's awesome That's to have a big you. drive for you. I appreciate yeah. it. Oh, I mean, it's definitely worth it. This way, I don't have to... You know, scream at my family members. It's the drive. It's probably, <laughs> that's about halfway through the drive. Legit, I thought, "Whoa, I'm glad I went because I'm pretty sure I was getting ready to get through out of that." <laughs> like I, I mean, I had apologized four or five times already. It was like two o'clock. <laughs> I got up at ten. You know, so there's like four hours there where it was just like I was. Just, I just realized I've been being a huge dick because it's <laughs> it's miserable and I'm always doing the same shit over and over again. You know? <laughs> And plus, the my daughter had a wreck on her bike, and Jesus. Yeah, you show me that photograph. That photograph's heartbreaking, man. I showed I showed Nikki. I was like, oh man, and I'm glad to hear that she's okay. Yeah, it looked bad. Well, so it's nice to have. I mean, it's nice to be away from her. So as maybe more time will pass, she'll look a little better. She'll heal <laughs> while you're here. Yeah. As much as she's doing okay, it's, it looks pretty rough right yeah. now. So. But I'm glad that she's doing okay. <laughs> yeah. Whew. It looked like, based on that photograph, it looked like... It looks like Montez Perfect hit her. Is <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was she on a cover of a Madden game? Or? Yeah. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> you know, uh, it ended her career. <laughs> Uh, I, w- I I hope that she gets she gets the feeling one hundred percent soon. I mean, I wish she would have had a better helmet like Antonio Brown. <laughs> <Yeah. you know? laughs> uh, what else to do? Hey, do you want to send us a package? We've got one here. We'll get to it later. It's opened. It's ready to go. Yeah. We meant to do it today. And but... We started talking about shit. Oh, yeah. So you send that to Tadbox Studios, Kevin and Cole Nance, PO Box two seven eight five, Purdue, Kentucky four two zero zero two. If you want to call us two seven zero eight eight three two five five five, you can find us on Instagram or Twitter, Tadpog underscore podcast. Facebook, that's Tadpog. You want some dank shit, Tadpog Nation. You want some good boy shit, that's Discord. Bit.ly slash Tadpog Discord. Should they send underwear to the same address? Yeah. And do you prefer used or gently used? It's all Nicole's box, man. <laughs> Whatever you want to shove in there. The underwear? <laughs> <laughs> That's got to be uncomfortable. Oh, uh, our theme song is Moonbox and we're driving. That track can be found at show notes at I guess like Madden would probably make sense, uh, but I don't yeah, know. We don't necessarily yeah. have to do that. It's pretty perfect. We could also do... Um, Nosferatu. Yeah, I, I think you should. Everyone should do it the way they think Montez Perfect speaks. Perfect. I love that. You guys that. love Perfect so much. Perfect. Yeah. I it's do. Perfect. I do. I, I want to tell you these are all names that I've already forgotten. What was the other guy's name? Antonio Plexico Burris. Bo- 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 Antonio Brown. Bo- Brown. Antonio Baloney. Baloney. Yeah. <laughs> Antonio Baloney. It's not. It's not far off. Really. All right. All right. So we'll do it as Perfect. So until next time, Capricorn! Capricorn! Capricorn. <laughs> All right, you like a Pokemon. Perfect. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. <laughs> burf, burf, perfect. Hey, uh, we had a lot of fun, and uh, I totally forgot to read off uh, who executive produced, executive, executive produced in the locky room. I forgot to read off who executive produced uh, this episode, which I hope you enjoyed. 
we'd like to thank the following people. The executive producers for this episode are Coronavirus Savior Cubicle Monkey, Chicks with Dixon, Zeus Laser, Usurper Grimm, God Emperor Alex Pena, Joseph Phillips, Cousin David Galino, Laud Mullaney Dennis, who I hope you all enjoyed uh, hearing him today, Chase Coburn, Cody Phillips, Platinum Member Brett Miller, The Eightfold Daniel Abernathy, Magical Sleeper, Jeffrey Cross, Master Cycle Baron Kevin Link, Drinksmith Joey Webster, Executive Producer Dig Duggy, Pinball Archmage Chris Edler, and Sandwich Pope Phil Hawkins. Uh, thank you guys very much. Uh, I know we said this earlier, but man, those Mad Men games. Yeah. That sure was fun. Yeah. And, uh, oh, look, we, it's we Ryan. Really appreciate it. <laughs> hey, look, my, oh, wow. look, my brother's here. Oh, wow. Now that Madden talk is over, he's here. So, yeah, you look much. like you have a story. Yeah. 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 I do have a story. Yeah. So, I want to yeah. preface this with uh, like the first thing Ryan told me today when I walked in the garage was. Hey, I had my asshole licked. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's an update for you. <laughs> and the look on Tyler's face. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, have you heard this story yet, Tyler? Yes. Yeah, I figured that you probably yeah. had. Well, I've heard. I guess I've heard the overview. I, don't know I mean, I was assuming he was it. there. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Watching from a closet. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty much, I'll start. I'll start with I met a girl online. At, on Bumble. All right. Badass. Okay. So Bumble. What Bumble. is can you just, it's, it's, I don't know. It's a Tinder that forces the girls oh, to it's that one. talk first. Okay. Yeah. That right. also <laughs> turns into a card. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. So I don't know if I would say it's like Tinder, but it forces the girl. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, that's probably not the message that Bumbles are like going for. <laughs> so we start talking and everything, and then one of the conversations that came up is she loves video games. And I thought, okay. This is this is going pretty good, and she's like, "I have a Super Nintendo in my bedroom right now." I said, "Okay, well, what games do you have for it?" She sends me a picture of all the games, and then I immediately look and I think, "The tactics bit, ogre, this girl, there you go. <laughs> yeah. uh, Nosferatu." All right, it's like over a hundred dollar game. It's a very bad game. Yeah, yeah it's it's a, it's an expensive one. So I, so the conversation keeps going. I'm like, "Okay, well, do uh, you want to hang out?" And she's awesome anyway. I wanted to anyway. Did she? I'm sorry to interrupt you. Yeah. But like, I need to know. This okay. is important okay. to lead up to the asshole licking. <laughs> yeah. This is a, this is a yeah. big lead up. Okay. Yeah. Did did she buy Nosferatu like as like a collector's she, item, or did she have it like as a kid? She, or like she has an older brother, so okay. it's, it's all originally hers. Yeah. Okay. Right. Her. And it's her his. Okay. Did someone gotcha. give it to her for licking? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. I don't have anything to give you, but oh, uh, uh, this copy so, of Nosferatu. <laughs> can, can I have? Your undying affection? No, but you can have this copy of Nosferatu. Even better. <laughs> so I, I pretty much told told her I was like, uh, you know, with all this pandemic, you know, going around, I haven't heard well, of it. Let's uh, yeah, let's uh, let's hang out. You know, hang out at my house. And of course, the first thing I th- said was, um, bring that Nosferatu game, and uh, we'll play it. Clearly knowing in my head, okay, she's going to come and she's going to get drunk and she's going to leave the game and you know, think about it. So, so, so in my head, it's a grip. Thinking, even if this doesn't work yeah. out, I'm getting a really good, yeah. expensive game it's, for free. It's a grip. It's a win-win. I mean, yeah. that, that, that's I mean that's stealing. But yeah. <laughs> I mean, she brought it and then left it. So is it stealing? <laughs> Yeah, you said it so much. Yeah, yeah. You said it so much okay. like Blake when you said that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying you're wrong, but it is stealing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, anyways, but this girl is freaking kick ass. And at Nosferatu, at everything, <laughs> everything. But and we're still talking now, so that's and that's where I'm going so, after this recording. So, so now the now the long term goal is to marry her so that you have joint custody of the copy. <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, exactly. <laughs> So pretty much this girl is down to do anything and everything. And one thing that I've – we talked about in the last podcast. I've licked a few assholes, but I've never had a girl that would lick my asshole. But you've wanted but, it. But I've wanted it, yeah, yeah. It was kind of an ex- unexpected thing. So I was just like, whoa. <laughs> you oh, she played, just did it. You were playing Nosferatu, and she's like, meow? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, she was full of Yoshi. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but not only that, like I've been t- telling, talking to Tyler about it. Does she um, know that you're on here doing this? And say yeah, she would care. She, she'd come on with a yeah, bring her, with me. Bring her she'd fucking be, on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, but she'll be like, what's it like that you eat Ryan's but, ass? But, but, but she's, she's one of those. I'm too scared to try. <laughs> <laughs> she's I mean, I knew I wouldn't eat that ass, so like. 
Sure, I'll bring over my copy of Nosferatu. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going through my game collection. Which game can you give Ryan Which so I can is, eat his ass? <laughs> I, I have a curated collection just to eat asses. So. <laughs> she did have Mega Man X, but I was like, eh. Already been there, done that. Sure. Yeah. I'm just always the pestim- pessimist, and I'm afraid at some point you're going to go over there and like open the door and see just like you know pages upon pages of stickers that wrap around games. Nostra. <laughs> <laughs> That's just her way. Her, yeah. That's so funny. I got to get to these assholes. And this is the only way I know. I love gamer asshole. It's my addiction. Got another one. <laughs> but to keep going on that story, like she's. One one thing that uh, we've talked about before on the well, yeah, I guess you guys have. Then so, I, I know it's one of Tyler's dreams. Go ahead. Were you just like laying? You said she just suddenly did it. Were you just like laying on your stomach, like playing on your phone, and she just? <laughs> no, yeah, we were. Going <laughs> you, at it. Yeah. I was on top. Okay, yeah, but yeah. Uh, so then, wait, hold on. I'm not talking about <laughs> asshole anymore. Well, no, no, we need to circle back to no, the no, I, I need, I need to know down. the logistics okay, here. Okay. So you were on top. Okay, no, you were going down there like a sixty-nine sort of okay. thing. Are, are we going to talk about the asshole? Are we going on? Well, I'd like to talk about the asshole <laughs> okay. and then and then okay. go on. Okay, yeah. So, so how the asshole? Are works. you guys still talking about the asshole, or or, or is it a reference to me? <laughs> <laughs> I like that Ryan just said. Well, how the asshole worked was his his opening yeah. sentence. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> So pretty much she threw me on my stairs. So I got my ass licked so, on stairs. So you're like crawling up the stairs like, like, like okay. on, on my back. Yeah. I'm on my back. On so my you're stairs. on your back. You're crab yeah. walking oh, shit. up the stairs. <laughs> kind of. The like, exorcist I'm not walking, style. But I'm laying there. Yeah. Yeah. So your legs are uh, your legs yeah. are akimbo. Like, yep. all right. So are you like naked making out going up the stairs to go to the bedroom? Yeah. yeah. And he just pushes and, and you she down. Just, she and she goes down on. Yeah. Exactly. And push, pulls your legs behind your head and just licks not your ass. Not my legs behind my head, but like. Like I mean, she's not, but, like, tell her she needs to go full. She's gonna like, commit. I mean, it was like I was at the gynecologist. I, my legs were wide so, open. So let me ask you this: Was there? It, I know you said she just did it, and, yeah. and I think that's great. Yeah. But was there any kind of like were you dropping hints or anything or was no. this straight up just like oh we're fucking uh, I, mean, I bet, I bet this after. guy this is the kind of guy who's gonna want some asshole I mean, licking I mean she knew that I liked licking her asshole all okay right. so right. going in okay so yeah was she like so, licking your balls and then went down yeah, or she went exactly. straight to asshole she went balls okay. down back up. all right so she's all right. she's doing okay. it smart yeah <laughs> she, <laughs> she's on a full gamble yeah. Yeah. she's not she's not betting the house and then see if and then see if you smell anything and if it's like gross. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah. But it, so wait, let me ask you another important question. Sorry to keep okay, going no, back no, no, to the no, asshole. No, no, no. But yeah, no, but before the play, before <laughs> anything, how many rounds I of basketball planned, had you played I before? Planned, so I shaved my ah. ass and complete. Oh, well, then she, that was the oh, sign. Was she knew. She was like, yeah. oh, he shaved all his <laughs> oh, shit. All right. He's got a patch of no hair. So here. Either, he, either he wants this or he's a weirdo. You're so right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll the dice <laughs> for me on this one. Maybe he wears really tight shorts all the time and it just the hair doesn't Are grow you a cyclist? No. Okay. Oh, yeah, All right. Ass. He wants this. <laughs> so, go moving on outside of that. That wasn't even the best part about all of everything we did. So, anyway. Nosferatu. <laughs> yeah, Nosferatu. Yeah. I'd say, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, asshole number three. Uh, yeah. So, pretty That's a new game plus. So, yeah. So, pretty much we were on my bed and then I was on top of her. And pretty much my dick got forced out of her. And I was like, what? Okay. And then she just squirts everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> like I like that Dennis' eyebrows went up and he slowly <laughs> nodded. Yes. <laughs> I have never experienced anything like that. It was fucking insane. <laughs> yeah. And immediately, it was like, as soon as it was over, I had to text Tyler. Like, this kind of fucking squirts. So I knew if there's anybody that would. My brother's it. a depraved pervert. I gotta tell him. <laughs> if anybody would get as much enjoyment out of that, I think that was a good call. Yeah. I'm second in line. <laughs> like, yeah, me and then Dave. <laughs> Did you wipe your phone off first? <laughs> Yeah, which everything had been misspelled because you could. <laughs> we all know how that works. <laughs> Definitely had to wash my sheets. That's for sure. Cool. But, <laughs> yeah, that's my that's my story. I like it. And I'm going back there tonight too. <laughs> I'm, yeah, yeah. And you're, you're driving. You were blaming me. You're like, I don't know if I'd ever if I would actually drive 
an hour there, an hour back to have sex. Well, I said four hours, four hours. <laughs> to be fair. And I'm 38 also, to be fair. <laughs> yeah. And I've been married for a long time. I've been with Nikki so, for 17 years. Yeah. She's the only person I'm having sex with, and I'm not driving four hours just <laughs> for that. <laughs> so she's I like, love her, but she's Jesus. Like, she's like, I'm going to lick your ass. And I don't want that. Like, <laughs> that's true. Well, of I course you are. It's Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> tacos. I mean, two things. Well, tacos well, and well, asshole eating. You say you don't want that. I, did, I don't want that. Have you ever? No. Oh, that's why. No. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> I mean, look, I'm sure it feels great. It is fun. It is fun. I'm sure it feels great. Uh, but uh, my, it's just my life. It's just not. <laughs> yeah. I, I never I wanted see, you to got like, You got like this <laughs> new attitude. You got, no. yeah, yeah, you. You got, yeah. the, got that asshole looking yeah, swagger. Yeah, man. <laughs> No, yeah, she, she's down. The Holland person. Bros love them assholes getting yeah, dicks. Yeah, yeah, y'all do. <laughs> See, Holland Bros and the Owen Bros and <laughs> Holland an, are assholes. It's a, a, a goat seat. <laughs> <laughs> but she, yeah, she'd have no problem coming on here and talking about it. Anything. Bring her fucking, bring her on. But she's, Let's talk she, about Nosferatu. But, but she, yeah. <laughs> so if that game ever comes up. I'm oh, like, it'll come oh, up. Perfect. Yeah. So, perfect. But, so pretty much how she's like a lady in the street. So she's behind closed doors. She's a freak, but. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. She's a lady in the streets? No, no, I don't mean streets. Uh, like but she, she's not a lady on, of the streets. No, no. <laughs> oh, did I mention she was a prostitute? <laughs> and I paid, I paid her 20 bucks to look at my asshole. She's got a YouTube channel, SNES Prostitute. But it was, but it was a net 80 you know, gain because of Nosferatu. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really proud of her doing this oldest profession. There's so much history in it. Yeah. I'm proud of everybody here. I think everybody's yeah. won. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Thank you for coming on Tell yeah, the no Story. Problem. Thank you, Ryan. Yeah. Are you sure you uh, don't want to stick around and talk about Madden for a little bit? Instead sure, of, I don't want to talk about football games from 1994. Yeah, you get your dick squirted on. <laughs> uh, I think I got my priorities straight. <laughs> so. All right. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Awesome. No, good stuff. I hope it gets weirder.